got my eye on it. Um, how's your day been, Maureen? It's been fantastic. How long have you been jewellery making for? For five years. Five, five years? years now, but I love the wire work the most. Do you? I is mean, that your go-to niche? It is, yeah. And I'm really inspired by Alice and Terry at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I can I tell. We all are. <laughs> she <laughs> paid her to say that. You can tell with the shoe. I love, I love, I love making that. I Gorgeous, really did. Isn't, yeah. isn't that beautiful? Did Thank you have you. fun with it? I did, yeah. It took did me you? about a week to do it, but I've done it. But it's worth it. Definitely. Talk to us about your pieces that you've made. This is from the bumper bundle that you were given. How did you create your cab effect? I've done the swirls round and then joined them together. And then made the, the loop on the top afterwards and done the uh, basket weave. I love that ring. <laughs> which, which one? Yeah. Oh, that one. Not having it, <laughs> Oh! <laughs> so I declined it. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. I could be pretty quick when I want to be. Um, thank you very much, Maureen, for showing us that. Move over one more. Hello. Hello. Gorgeous Mekite necklace. Thank you. Um, how's your day been today? Brilliant, because I came here with not a lot of confidence. I've not been doing it very long, but these girls and Sheila... I'm going on with bags of confidence. I'm going to be more adventurous now. Oh, you? Mm -hmm. And what and are you going to... bridal as well. Yeah, I'm going to a bridal workshop as well. Oh, fab. You have worked with a lot of colour here. Do you like colour as a general? Um, normally, I'm a bit more conservative. I don't mind a stone like the Mukai that's already got lots of colour in it, but um, I'm going to be more adventurous. You have Definitely. created some beautiful, really wearable pieces. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. That, uh, that didn't, That's need, did, didn't need any more than the good rose. I love no, rose that gold. That's stunning. I do, I love rose gold. It's, it's absolutely it's lovely, beautiful it? collection. It really, really is. So we've all had lots and lots of fun today. <laughs> oh, I'm really, really... <laughs> Have you been buying in the shop, ladies? I wish we oh, not yet. No, you can't. You've got loads of gemstones to take home with you, yes, though. Good. You. I'm glad that you've we enjoyed have. it. If you do want to get involved with the Sunday experience, have a little look on our website, and that will tell you exactly how to do so. Right, ladies, I've got to go this way. I'm going to come and say goodbye in a bit. Yeah, you go that way. That ring's got my name on it. It's got my name on it, yeah? <laughs> Um, hello, hello, Alison. Well, I didn't expect to see you no, it's, here. It's weird being over here. It's nice to have you. Yeah, How are you? I'm all right. Which side would you like me? I don't know. Wherever you are. Mm -hmm. can, um, I, can I put that in? Say that to me again, Dion. What have you made with your challenge? Might have a little ring. I was going to go for something, something a bit fancier, um, but someone Ooh. dropped some cabochons in on me. Look at this. How, how simple do you need? Because the colours in that are brilliant. That quality is phenomenal. Yeah. That quality is astonishing, isn't it? Um, this, don't forget, is from the beautiful duo that we gave to Alison earlier on. You had the coins. You had, the, <laughs> you had the coins in the Labradorite and you had uh, the rondelles too. And the zigzag wire? This is Maker. using the twister, the crinkler, sorry, yeah. the crinkler tool. How did we do this then? Well, I just made two long lengths of crinkles. I would refine the design, so I'd, I'd find a better way of fixing them there. I'd actually wrap them round instead of I made them and then threaded them on. Got you. So I'd actually wrap them round it to give it, to, to, to stop them moving so much. Got you. But what a bit of fun. It's great. And then you finished it off with a crinkler clasp. Yeah. <laughs> How clever is that? This is coming up on your screen now, the crinkler tool, with your crinkle clasp. <laughs> I love Which isn't quite finished, but... And you got your cabs in as well. Yeah, I was, this I was... is a request to have them in. Simple wire up cabs. Yeah. No, I had to go, because the, the prong one is actually with twisted wire. Oh, gorgeous. So just to, just to have a go, I've not, I've not played with the twisted wire in that effect before. But I, the, the, those two cabochons, the markings were phenomenal. So you just want to keep the wire off it almost and let the and let the the stone sell sell itself because they really are beautiful do. it is so exceptional yeah. it really is beautiful thank you so oh, much well. for these now tell me lovely lady when are you next with us well i might be here on thursday with oh let me think it's 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 a becky <sighs> becky lady i'm not quite sure what she <laughs> it's with me <gasps> wire work show a wire work show and, and a little bit oh so much for joining me this after this morning i greatly <laughs> appreciate it my name's been rebecca Eddykin, and after the break you've got fiona see you very very soon
join guest designer Debbie Bulford for this exciting Polymer Clay Accessories DVD. Debbie will guide you through a variety of projects, including pen tops, charms, badges, buttons, and how to create the animal print look. This DVD is ideal for all levels and great to have some fun with the kids. To get your hands on a copy, contact our call centre. Get creative with Jewellery Maker. You can now keep in touch by following Jewellery Maker on Twitter. Get interactive with Jewellery Maker. I love chips and nuggets. Ever since I first joined the company nearly three years ago, I've been absolutely hooked. What I love are the varying sizes, the varying shapes, the varying colours, and most of the gemstones that we carry in our stock have some form of chips and nuggets, right from what I call the tiny little microchips, right through to the nuggets, right through to the big ice cube boulders. There's just such an array of sizes and shapes, and they lend themselves so well to macrame, to wire wrapping, to rosary link, all sorts of techniques to use, and you can make the simple, delicate little bracelet right through to the enormously heavy, chunky bib style necklace. I just adore them. Do you have a question that you need answering? Well, did you know you can ask to speak to an accredited jewellery professional in our call centre? Trained by the GIA, you can ask us any gemological question and we'll do our best to help. We don't just sell gemstones, we know gemstones. That's why when you buy from us, you're buying with confidence. Buy your genuine gemstones from genuine accredited jewellery professionals. The Collector's Choice features high calibre gemstones which are prized for their outstanding attributes. They could be examples of rare gemstones, gemstones of pure clarity or exceptional quality. They're all hand faceted by our experienced lapidrists in our cutting houses in the heart of Jaipur. This maximises the brilliance and lustre of the gemstones. The collector's choice from Jewellery Maker. Welcome to Design Inspiration. It's so good to see you. I'm Ali Defoy. I hope you're well. I hope you're ready for some treats. Oh yeah, we have lots of treats. Oh, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. There's lots. Uh, not only have I got some treats uh, in the gallery, I've got Helena producing. Oh yeah. I've got Ben directing. Uh-huh. And I have um, Pete. 
He's made it back after his crazy night last night. Oh yeah, he survived. And he did, he had a crazy night in the late show with us. Uh, and we've got Glenn on cameras. And there's Cass as our floor manager. So maybe finishing, maybe staying. I'm not quite sure. Finished. She's finished. She's gone. She's off. Um, and I have, oh my goodness, it wouldn't be a designer inspiration without a fabulous designer, would it? And we have none other than the, the most fabulous with a resin launch, Fiona Potter. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing, Fiona? I'm really well, thank you. I'm really excited about today. Really excited. We're going to have an awesome yeah. day, aren't we? We are, absolutely. Fiona has <laughs> lots and lots planned for you. You are going to love it. I know the ladies from the, 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 even, the evening, um, the morning show, were really, really excited about it. But most importantly, the ladies who came for the Sunday experience. Words were failing me there. I couldn't work out. Sunday experience was, I was having a mind block. I was like, what was it when they were here for? It wasn't a workshop. It was Sunday experience. Um, and the ladies were all commenting on uh, the first piece, actually, that you, we were going to have as a yes. design inspiration. Yeah. With some opals. You are going to de lum love it. Um, I'm going to get started, though, for you with a bundle. A cheeky bundle. Can you handle a cheeky bundle? It's got January's Bristol, though. It's a Sunday. It is, it is a Sunday, but, um, oh gosh, there's lots in here. I don't think we can have all of these, surely not. Let me show you the first strand. Oh gosh, how many strands do you want to give me? <gasps> oh, hello there, have a look at this. This is some Fab Lab. <laughs> do you get that? Fab Lab, Labradorite, it's lovely. Do you like Fab Lab? Have you ever seen Fab Lab before? 70 carats of it you've got, 5 by 3 millimeter to 10 by 3 millimeter, 35 centimeter strand. They're irregular plain drops of genuine Labradorite feldspar family, as you may have heard of. A really gorgeous variety this is, I love this. Oh, look at the purples, can you see them coming through here? Can you see that? It's much easier to see it from above, actually. Um, just the way the lights are pointing at it, you can't see it as well. But if you can get, oh gosh, there's greens coming through. Everything's going on up here. Oh, yellow's coming through. It's all going on. Oh gosh, it's everything you'd want. Oh, hold on, can you see that up there? It's like a mermaid. A mermaid's tail. That's the colours I would expect in a mermaid's tail I've got in my Labradorite. So you've got Labradorite strand. To start you off, Oh yeah, that's not all you're getting. Oh, there's more. Oh yeah. Well, if you read the graphics on the, the television or the web, you'd be thinking, hold on, I know there's some more, there's um, some red garnets in there. I'm not going to show you the red garnets yet. I don't think you're ready for them. No. Um, I'm going to bring you this, actually. These are big. Oh, I do love a good nugget, but these, these are another level of nuggets. Look at the shimmer you're getting from these. Genuine white moonstone. Oh, white moonstone nuggets. They are 7 by 4 mil to 19 by 5 mil. Gosh, hello, how big a nugget do you need? 38 centimetre strand, 150 carats. Can you see why this is so lovely and bridal? Because the white shimmer that you're getting, a lot of my friends, about one of my dear friends, I was helping her make a tiara for her wedding day. Um, and I, I suggested moonstone, rainbow moonstone. And she said, oh, I love that, but I, I've not got any blue in my white dress. I, I don't want the blue shimmer. I would like just white. So we went for white moonstone and it looks angelic. It's a really good call, actually. A lot of people don't realize it has this sort of shimmer to it. That's a, um, almost a mother of pearl shimmer, almost. It's really pretty. Can you see that? They're really dreamy. Doesn't come across so well on telly, but that's why you've got 30 days to make your mind up. Making your mind up. So you've got that strand. So you're getting two. As well as, oh no, here we have. This I think is um, bridesmaids. This is the bridal party here. I know we're talking about bridal, but when you've got moonstone, it's June's birthstone. It's a season, isn't it? You've got silvers in there, you've got peaches in there, and you've got white. So I'm thinking peaches for the bridesmaids, silver for the, the mum of the bride, the mother, um, to, well, the mother-in-law, and um, the white for the bride. What do you think? Or we could just ditch the bridal party and we could just have our own party. Yeah? I love peach. It's my favourite colour. And there's so few peach gemstones. Is it one of your favourite peaches, the fruit-wise? The fruit wine is one of your favourite fruits. The peach is what I meant to say. Oh gosh, today's not going to go well, is it? I think I did that much talking yesterday. Today's going to go to pot, so forgive me. Ha, <laughs> Potter. Sorry. <laughs> I am so easily amused. <laughs> I love 
love me on the photo. Right. <laughs> um, I've got a huge strand of garnets. Look at these. You are ready for these. You're not ready for the next strand though, but you're ready for these. January's birthstone. They are lush, aren't they? Really, really gorgeous. They look what, sorry? They, they almost look wet, don't they? That luster, it's a rolling luster on there. They, they look like I've just got some um, sort of, what is it you have on those fan, fancy fruits and they put the gloss over the top on a tart and then you have it? It's like, like it's a glossy, yeah, like a glossy strawberry tart and then you put that lovely gloss over the top, makes the strawberries look really juicy. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's like, um, Oh, I, can't, I, I knew that then, and it's just yeah. gone from my head. Um, like a, a glaze. Almost like a glaze. It looks like mm. they've been sort of slightly glazed. Mmm, yeah. these are <laughs> wonderful. I love these garnets. You've got a lot in here. You are looking at 250 garnets in a huge strand of nuggets, and you've got an 85 centimetre strand, 3 by 2 millimetre to, eight, uh, to 9 by 2 millimetre. So there's a lot on there, plus... A third, uh, sorry, one, two, three, four, a fourth and final strand. You haven't even seen yet. This strand you're gonna love. How, don't be nervous, how much do you trust me? Yeah, all right then. If you're a new viewer, welcome to Julian Maker. I'm Ali, it's great to join you in the design inspiration. Wait until you, I'm gonna put these to the side. You're still gonna get them, but I just want you to have a moment with this. Because this is gorgeous. Wait till you see. It will go with everything. Completely genuine, clear quartz. You have such a glow from it. Oh my goodness me. Three by one mil to six by two mil, 31 centimeter strand, and rondelle or plain wheels, which means you can get a huge amount more on the strand, can't you? You can really fit them in there. <gasps> can you see that glow? You're getting brilliance, you're getting luster, and you're getting scintillation. Oh yeah, cheeky wee bit of scintillation there, do you know what that means? Cass might know what it means. Um, what it simply means is, you know when you look at a gemstone, and um, it doesn't actually necessarily have to be a gemstone, but it's when you get that flash. So it's not luster from the surface, it's not brilliance from inside, it's a flash almost like um, a toothpaste advert where it goes ping at the end, and you get that flash. It's that flash that flashes at a random moment, either you move, the camera moves, the angle that you look at it moves. You only get it in some of the finest gems. And, um, well, for example, if you want a potter, she's a little scintillation. <laughs> and she smiles, a big bing, big flash. <laughs> um, you've got for yourself all five of these that will work together so, so easily. If you need help with chips and nuggets, I don't want you to be scared of them. Um, you can easily, easily call the call centre um, and have a, or get them to tell you if you don't know already. But Jewelry Maker has a Facebook page as well as a YouTube page. Oh yeah, there's a, the, yeah, there's a YouTube page. And on there, all you need to type in is Jewelry Maker UK and all the previous shows come up. So if you can type in, type in nuggets, then I'll give you some shows and design inspirations on nuggets. For example, after today, if you type in resin, You'll be able to say, uh, find out some amazing resin opportunities that Fiona Potter is going to show us. Yeah, it's great. You don't have to pay for it. It's free. I know. And we have Nugget DVDs, though. So if you think, I want a DVD that I can have at home and I can constantly, constantly watch, then you've got that option as well. So it's totally up to you. Do you know what I did with my Nuggets? When I first got them, I didn't know what to do with them. I had an aquamarine strand and a rose quartz strand. And I got the beading thread, because we get hundreds of it when you buy, um, when you buy a kit. And I, I just put about a centimetre on, tied a little knot, and then left uh, a bit, and then uh, about a centimetre, and then threaded some more nuggets on, tied a little knot, left it a wee bit. If I'd been thinking about this smarter, I would have put a crimp in or, or a nice bead cap or something. And then I got organza ribbon and tied bows in between all the way around, and then I wrapped it around the Christmas tree for my tinsel. Yeah, and these garnets would look quite lovely at Christmas time. Festive, aren't they? Um, quite a few people already have this. Now it should be over fifteen pounds. Why? That's not even five. That's just that's just about five pounds each. This should be twelve ninety five alone. That no. Why? Because you can. That's not always a reason to do something, Helena. Two thirty nine for a strand of garnets. I'm happy at twelve ninety nine. Well, twelve pounds for the the clear quartz on its own. Do you not think? 
the beauty of that clear quartz, the quality, this is it, you can see the difference in quality um, within the amount of cut, the clarity that you need for these compared to, for example, what you may need. They can be a bit more rougher in your nuggets. But to get all of that, it might give you an idea. To, I mean, if you put those two together, if I move the others to the side, how lovely would that be? You don't have to put them all together just because we're bringing them together as an option doesn't mean you have to get them to go together and um, quite a lot of people have already got these there's plenty of combinations you can put these with for example this amazing garnet strand that's coming up that i'm massively in love with how well you need these nuggets in your life how divine would that be opulent elegant you need these we need these i need these I'm thinking of classic pearls as well. Look about, look about, <laughs> look at these. These are coming up as well. I think I've just found you a new kit. What do you think? All of this is coming up today. And you can add to the same order, two pounds and 95 pence, won't add, it won't cost you any more. So these, these gorgeous garnets are gonna be coming up later. Um, but you must, you must get those two together to go together. Um, I make absolute sense. Um, oops, and those pearls are coming up as well. I think I launched these pearls, or if not, I launched something very, very similar, and they were very popular. So actually, maybe these are different ones, because the one I launched, I think, sold out. And, and for that, 11.95, do try and get it if you can. And you get all of them, so do enjoy them. Well done you, they're lovely. Good, good bundle, love your bundling. Um, on the tea bar, the tea bar, I'm going for Drops of Heaven. Oh, well, that's what we've just done. What am I going to do on the tea bar? <gasps> These are lovely. I'm going to do something for you. I hope you don't mind. Hmm. Mm. I'm loving it. Do, 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 do. The pink ones, yeah? OK. I want you to see this with this. And wait, wait, wait. With this, what do you think? Would you put that together? Do you like? Do you love? So what I'm about to do for you are these classic pearls here. Soft pinks. But these uh, other pearls and the garnets are all coming up and they would work deal maliciously together. So I'll just take away the ones that we're not doing just at this moment in time but are all coming up today. And I'll bring you these on their own. Classic. Oh, these are pretty. These are ever so pretty. Oh, really lovely size, these. Six by five millimeter in your natural pink rice beads. Ooh. Gosh, if only we had some, I don't know, maybe some moonstone coming up to go with them. I believe this may even be, is this white moonstone? It is as well. A brand new strand of white moonstone. This great quality white moonstone actually will go really well with that bundle that we had. Um, what else would you like to see with your classic pearls? Oh, I know. Mm-hmm. Loving it. What do you think? Solid sterling bezel set amethyst. That's exactly what you would be looking at here. Lovely or lovely? Love it. Maybe you've got some amethysts at home that you might want to use. But remember, you don't have to get everything today. We're just giving you ideas. Maybe if you want to message me in, if there's something you want to see it with, if I've got it in the studio, then I could put it next to it, which might give you an idea of something uh, you have at home that you want to see together to make it together, because that's the whole point of it, isn't it? The whole purpose of me being here. Do you know what it would look lovely with? These garnet nuggets as well. January's birthstone. I mean, there's no harm in being uh, ahead of, of the times, is there? January is one of my favourite birthstones. Garnets is one of my favourites. One of my dearest friends, many of you regular viewers, you all know this, um, got engaged with um, a garnet. And every time I see her, I'm with her all the time, and she's pushing her children on the swing and the sun catches her, just glows. It's just stunning. It's so good. In natural daylight, garnets are just gorgeous. So I hope you managed to get that previous opportunity. These are here for you now. These work with everything, seems to be, don't they? I think maybe you've got the, the clear quartz earlier. Would you put something clear with them? That would be quite pretty. It doesn't need to be bridal just because the pearls, though. Please don't think that. Classic, timeless, elegant. What do you think? Ooh. I don't know how these are going to go. Oh, my gosh. Where did these come from? 
On the tea bar next to the peach pearls. <gasps> Imperial topaz. Don't fit. You can't just drop that in the show like Imperial Topaz comes around every day. I had no idea we had Imperial Topaz. Why would you do that to me? <gasps> that is a surprise. Fancy sapphires. You might want to pick out a couple of the, the reds from there. Might, it looks like a strawberries and cream, doesn't it? You might want to save some of the white ones for something different. But if you could envisage just some of maybe using just some of the, the pink. A nice goal. Now, quite a lot of these have already gone without a price point. Hmm. It's a what strand, did you say? You can't say that. It's pearls. What were we talking about upstairs, Fiona Potter, about um, pearls and how easy they are to sell? They, they, just, they just sell because they're classic. They're just absolutely classic. They're timeless, ageless, and they, uh, they sell themselves almost yeah, without a design. They need no explanation, do no, they? No, they don't. We were talking no. about... Um, if we just made pearl bracelets all the time to give everybody an idea for new viewers, I know all of yourselves are of regular viewers already think, oh, I know I can make a pearl bracelet, I know I can sell it at 25, 30 pounds, um, and then yeah. some, depending on my findings, depending on what you put with it. Classic pearls, what's lovely about these is they're quite um, dainty, they're not too in your face. These would be nice uh, as drops, as a sort of chandelier earrings, sort of drops and, and dainty, you look like you've got an idea. They would. Uh, look, I think the one thing I would like to say about those as well is they're actually a really subtle shade. They're mm. not an in your face shade, they, which makes them to me even more classy. And even from this side of the studio, I can see the iridescence on them. It's lovely. They are so pretty. Oh, I don't agree, just so you're aware, but I am really happy for you. It's a Sunday, so we need to have some treats. We're deserving of some treats on a Sunday. If you're ever going to get treats, make it today. I had a treat today. I had a chocolate bar. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a whisper. No, I've still got my teeth intact today. Touch wood. Poor, poor Pete, bless him, he'd broken his tooth a while ago, I don't know if you heard, and he bit into a whisper yesterday and broke it again. I did that, I did that a couple of years ago, I bit into a boost and I broke my tooth as well. I had broken it before, it wasn't the boost's fault, <laughs> but um, it was in, in winter time so it was a bit hard. I should have known not to bite it, but yeah. So, but why, what's that got to do with this? Oh. Because I had a treat, and this would have been a much better treat. Although I didn't pay six ninety five <laughs> for my chocolate bar, but still, I probably would rather have this than I've had that. So just simple, just like that. Is it's absolute class, isn't it? What I like about this particular size is because I am wearing a sort of a high neckline top. I don't want too big pearls. No. I know that sounds crazy, but it's almost quite soft and delicate. Whereas I have my bigger pearls for maybe a, a, a lowered styled neck or a different type of, of neck in my dress or my top. But when it's a high neck, and a lot of us are, wear quite often high blouses yeah. and high neck dresses, don't we? Absolutely. I mean, like you say, it's the perfect size. It's the perfect shade. It's 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 sort of like two shades up from skin tone almost, isn't it? It's it's gorgeous. From the the rose such a lovely English glow. rose. That's pretty. How about actually? Because with something like this, I know it's only six ninety five. I don't just so you're aware. If you are buying this to sell as jewellery, I wouldn't recommend that. That's not implying a value or worth. So make sure you go up. Okay. Um, but to help you go up in your price. I want to bring you a brand new toggle clasp. It's befitting. It's got, and with the saving you've just made on this, what you, I imagine, expect you to pay for pearls. Um, which one should we go for? Which colour? Um, the rose gold or the yellow gold? Yellow gold? Yellow gold. But we have got this in rose gold as well. In fact, I might just show you them both so you've got an idea, so you can see. You can make your mind up. Making your mind up. Did you like that there, Ben? We sing a lot, of, well actually I say we, I sing a lot on the late, sh late shift. Cameraman Dan joins in though, he gets quite vocal. What do you think? So we've got both. I can't imagine, I've known Glenn a very long time. I can't imagine Glenn to ever join in with my singing. Laugh at it, yes, join in with it, no. So we'll do the gold one first. In all honesty, I think the rose gold works very well with the um, the pink, the soft pink to the pearls, because I think the, the yellow gold might work with the peachy ones that are coming up. 
that I didn't just show you, that you haven't just seen, that aren't even there. Hee <laughs> hee. That was a little bit of the, the Michael. I went to see his musical the other week. Thriller, it was bizarre. It was really bizarre. Some of it, what well, you thought was, um, some of it you think is got a theme to it, as in there's a story, and then there's no story, and then it's just like a concert, and then it's just people coming on singing, and then they're kind of in a show again, and then you can't tell if they're acting or singing or just, it's all a bit odd. The music was all great, but <laughs> I didn't really get the, the story or not story. It was odd. It was really strange. Hmm, yeah. But the music was tremendous, of course. Um, and the singing was great. It's all a bit random. 21 millimeter for you, um, for your key. And your pair is an 18 by 13 millimeter. Well, I like that. It's almost like, oh, I can't, you, my dad would uh, be sitting there going, I know what you're going to say. Is it a Phillips screwdriver, the one that's straight, or is it the other one? It's the other one. The that's other straight. one. Well, it looks like it's got those screws that you would use that type of screwdriver for. So not a Philip one, but the other one. Do you know what I mean? It looks like a proper lock. It doesn't does. look like it's a, a no, flimsy one. It's like a proper industrial. You're not getting in there. Um, I would put, it's that good, I would probably put that on my suitcase. I'm like, no one's going to try and get in there. They're going to think, oh, that's a proper lock. Not that anyone wants to get in my suitcase, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Rosemary's in, Wilma's in. Um, that, I do like this. So it's solid sterling silver. So it's not a flashing, it's a plating. So plating deserves uh, and warrants a certain thickness of, um, of microns to be classed as plating and not just flashed. So you have got a good quality in your plating. You can tell that because the fact we're able to call it plated. Um, and you've got yourself a sizable key charm as well. It's not sort of shy and retiring. It's quite big indeed. Quite a good size. So you could use them together. Um, but as a clasp, that's really cool, isn't it? Should I put it so you can see it as a clasp? Where's my tweezers? So, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I've got it in my head how I want to do it, but I don't know if it's going to work. God can uh, only help me here. God loves a trier, so I'm thinking... Is it? Director Tom came on the other day and he was like, Ali, you just do this. And then he couldn't do it, which made me really laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Is that one of those? <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Sorry for the squeal. <laughs> well, it will look. It's because I've got moisturizer on and everything. <laughs> and everything. So it will look a bit like that. As a clasp. Because you'll have that with the, the ribbon that way and that going the other way. Oh yeah, why don't you That's wait till I've nice. fiddled about for half an hour and then tell me, Ben, I could lie it down with Fiona Potter on camera five. <laughs> why not? I'm going to do it now. Yeah, now I'm not there. <laughs> I'm going to put it there and lay it down on camera five like... We'll use camera two then, good luck with that because I'm putting it flat. There. Perfect. Well done. You're winding me up all the time, Fiona. Isn't that pretty? Oh, you might need to get your focus there, Ben. <laughs> Other way, I think, love. <laughs> <laughs> Is that karma? I think it might be a little <laughs> bit of karma, Ben. What do you think? Do you I like it? I just think that is the prettiest, cutest little class bat. I've never seen that before. And it's I really sizable. Really, it is sizable. But it's, it's lovely not and it just fun, looks it? real quality. I love that. Can I put it next to one of these links? Because mm. this is a big link from the chain. It's a really good size clasp, isn't it? If I put my pinky in there, how big is that clasp? That's a good clasp. I hate little fiddly clasps that you're struggling to find and struggling to clasp. I like that. Put it next to a toothpick, you can see how big it is. An average size toothpick. It's a good size. Well, you've got the measurements, but Oh, I love it. Is that all you're going to go to? $9.95? Now, obviously, you don't have to use it 
as a clasp because you could use it as charms. I would get two sets and use a little key for cufflinks. Oh yeah. Could you do that? Yeah. And have that the key on one side lovely. and then a gemstone on the other. Now you've given me an idea. Have I? Yeah, have I? inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no designer, but you're giving me inspiration. That's fantastic. As a, uh, yeah, I like that. Would that work? But you see, I would also use that as a charm, and I mm. would use this as a receiver for some um, resin. Ooh. And colour it. So see what we're doing today? So, would yeah. you be able to um, incorporate this with yes. the exact same method? Yes, you would. Ooh. And if you had two of those, wouldn't it be nice to have those as a feature in the necklace, but then also have it as a clasp? Yeah. So you can have it featured and clasping. Oh, I love it. Carol, Evelyn, Rosemary, you're ready. And Wilma's gone for two. Multi-bidding. Loving your work. I'm going to go back now. Um, and I'm going to... I'll, I'll be back with you in a minute. Okie dokie. Isn't it lovely with butterflies? I love Fiona's top. I keep commenting <laughs> on it. She's going to be like, will you just leave my top alone by the end of the day? <laughs> it's fine. It's nice you like um, it. I love it. It's lo I love butterflies. They make me feel loved. They make me feel happy. I don't know why. I just think they're really pretty. Anyway. Um, oh, Emerald City. These would go with the green tigers I you might have seen with uh, Becky earlier today. You may have opened your order. You may want to add them in. If you were like my producer Helena and said, I've never seen these before. I've never seen green tiger's eye before. Um, uh, died to give it the colour, but I hadn't seen that type. Ooh, Fiona. Now you've chosen this for one of your challenge strands, haven't you? I love that. Tongues out and everything. Yeah. yeah. You gave me a wee wiggle there. <laughs> Sorry. Though. You missed all of this. I got a tongue out and a wee wiggle. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you excited about this? Yeah, one? I do. I really like those. <laughs> They're the most exquisite colour, aren't they? <laughs> they are fabulous. Um, so they would work. Excuse me for now. I'm going to get... Would you use them with the garnets? Is that a silly question? Yes, I would. With the nuggets. I'm, I'm in a festive mood today. I don't mm. know why. With the, with the garnets, they are very festive, aren't they? Yeah. But to me, I've seen them as sort of last bit of summer and into autumn and... Mm. Mm. So, with the greens, what would you want to put... Oh! Oh! What would you want to put with them? Um, oranges. Oranges. Oranges and sort of natural colours. Mm. <laughs> oh, like a carnelian, maybe? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh! <laughs> oh, yes! So this is a strand from your challenge. This is a, a green onyx strand, 10 to 13 mil. So if you're new to Jewelry Maker and you think, what does that mean, though? What, what does it mean by calling it um, Fiona's Challenge? We're going to give this to Fiona to work with throughout the show, um, unless she already has a sample that she's working with, I'm not entirely sure, but Fiona will get to work with this, the same strand that you're going to get, and you can make what Fiona makes, because she's going to talk through it. So we'll give it to Fiona and give you an idea. If you know you like it and you want to get it, you can call me now on a free phone number, 0800 644 655, that's free there. Call me on there or join me on jewelrymaker.com. You can pop it in your basket or you can check it out. Um, you don't have to get it right now. You can wait until Fiona decides um, to, to work with it and then once she's worked with it. But the only problem with that is if there isn't... How many have we got? Have we got a good quantity or not really? So I've got over 100, so you don't need to rush um, at all. It's not like the late show where you have to, you have to be really, really quick, um, which is where I normally present. But what I would say is jot down the code so that you can... I always used to say this to my mum because my mum and I used to phone up and we'd be like, oh, can I get the green, the green onyx one? And they'd be saying, what, what one's that? Which one was that? What time was that on? And they'd be like, oh. Um, so if you write down the code, then you can decide to use it or not. If you write down CNRU86, so you've got it, and you can, if you write Green Onyx next to it, or you can write Fiona's Challenge, and that will remind you of um, where it was coming. You might already remember. You might not need that. I, I need that, that, but um, I always tend to write down the, the, the codes of the ones I like so that then when I do see a designer working with them or I do decide that I'm going to go for that one, um, I've got the code ready to hand. Um, and you can want, maybe even want to write the price with it. Now, this should be... Have you seen a lot of Green Onyx around 13, sort of 12.95, 11.95s? This one's only going to be, well, one note, a £10 note, 9.95. A little bit naughty, isn't it? 
A little bit naughty. So Fiona's going to have this one. Um, Fiona, what made you choose this one? Why did you go for the greens? Why did you go for this particular shape? I think because I don't very often work with greens, okay. for one thing. Mm -hmm. And the colour of those, is they're just so stunning. Um, and the shape. And out when I was looking at them, you just got, you know, this this lovely sparkle. And I can see that now as well. I can't take my eyes off them. It's um, a great luster. They just absolutely popped out at me. They're lovely. Good call. I cannot wait to see what Linda's going to make with these. If you are the same again, whether you, you can join me now at 9.95 or you can wait, whichever is up to you. But just bear in mind, if you wait and then see Linda's design and the, uh, sorry, Fiona's design and then everybody joins in um, to call to get them, that you may miss out. So hopefully you won't, but if you've got the code, then you've got the choice. Um, so I will be bringing this over to you in a minute, Fiona, don't worry. Okay, okay. Uh, but I'm going to start with our first designer inspiration. Now, we've got two designer inspirations today, as we usually do, so regular viewers, you'll be up to speed with what's happening. If you're a new viewer, I just want you to, to be aware of what I'm going to do is show you everything that we've got available to you that Fiona's worked with, and then we get to go and see what Fiona's made, and then we get a wee talk through of how to make it. Yay! Um, so we're going to go with, is it the opals first? No. There is one opal strand that is brand new. The nuggets you may have seen, the opal strand is brand new. My jaw nearly hit the floor. I had to be really careful not to make a massive noise when Becky was presenting earlier. I came into the studio and my producer just lifted it up. And even in slight, I mean, it's slightly dark over there, isn't it, Fiona? It is. It's not out of the, it the, is. Of the sh it's not in the studio lights, it's, it's in the back. And I was blown away. It was, I was like creeping in the shadows. I'm a creep. <laughs> and I saw the, <laughs> blew my mind it's a brand new strand the price point on this strand well put it this way i doubt our sister channel would be anywhere near it and our sister channel price points are amazing what you've got here i don't even think oh, oh this is amazing these are the biggest ethiopian opals i've brought to you here on jewelry maker they are everything an ethiopian opal should be and more wait you see this you are just hopefully fingers crossed it's going to come across but it amazing amazing if you want to try ethiopian opals this is a strand to try it on you still get a 30 day money back guarantee when you see this you are just going to want to oh call me now that's what you're going to want to do are you joking Where, what, what what why can't you see all this awesomeness oh look at that you you pfft. You can barely see it. That's ridiculous. These are phenomenal. Oh my word. You need to see these with your own naked eye. Every single one has got it going on. Now on a sister channel, I can show you something that shows you the way silica spheres pack. On Jewelry Maker, we don't have it, unfortunately, which is a real shame. But that's usually because we don't have sort of high, high, high end um, gemstones um, as much as we do in our sister channel. With opals you look for perfect silica spheres and you look for them to be packed really really tightly uh, and perfectly to be able to perform what's known as a playing with the light. Opalis is, is meaning playing with the light. Now it doesn't happen to all opals like purple opals for example or pink opals, proving opals, they don't have that play of colour but Ethiopian, Australian white opals, they do and these have it perfectly. You're getting neon oranges and neon greens, they're glowing, they're, they're fluorescing, they're magnificent and I cannot believe it's not even slightly coming across on camera. Oh my word, they are magnificent. Just by coming in a little bit closer in the camera, it gives you an idea. It is Ethiopian well opal, but um, what I'm looking for is um, a silica sphere. Uh, it's almost like a diagram, but unfortunately I don't think we have it on Jewelry Maker. It's a real shame. But these were found and discovered in 2008, originally, at the Wello Opal Mine. Um, the Wagle Tenor Mines in the Wello province in Ethiopia. That was the mine there, that was. See that tiny little, uh, you'll see it maybe in a moment, but that tiny little um, crack almost is about a one metre vein um, that all the way along the top of the, the Wello Mines. And that is where you mine. That is the mining for Ethiopian opals. Now, um, 2008, regular viewers, you know this is when they were first discovered. Yeah, only a few years ago. That's the mine there. Now, when you see that from a distance, you will see how high up this massive, massive... Oof, I don't even know what, what you would call it. Like a, a cliff, almost. That's it there. And if you kind of 
count, see the first big line that you see? That's where the mine is. So if that was behind me, I could, can I point to it? Can you, am I allowed to have that on my telly behind me? So the mine, back to front, is here. That there is the mine in a long layer. So they have to come from the bottom all the way up, it takes them about four hours to get up to the top, and then they, they mine in here. They abseil down here and then they mine in there. It's ridiculously difficult. They don't have, it's, it's not, I mean, that doesn't look like a mine, does it? You didn't think this would come from there. It's not a big operation. What you have is um, sort of the, the gents, the ladies and the gents of miners, they have pickaxes and shovels um, that they've either made themselves or that the government have given to them to mine. That's all they have. There's no JCBs, there's no big diggers, there's no big production. It's, it's crazy and we go direct it as a source when we can to the Ethiopian mines to, to bring these to you. Now unfortunately the Ethiopian, Ethiopian government have banned that because they want to, to keep the sort of faceting within the country to, to build more money, which you understand these are gorgeous. It's the best Ethiopian strand I have had on Jewelry Maker to date. Um, they're, they're just phenomenal. And if you can imagine, if this is what it looks like in the studio, can you imagine how good it's going to look with your own naked eye when you get them home? They're just gorgeous. Wow, wow, wow. Everything you're looking for here, or everything that you're seeing, you get more with your own naked eye. They are unreal. Fiona, you can back me up on this, can you not? I can, absolutely, because they are stunning. I have enjoyed working with these so much every one every stone that I've had I've had a whoa look at wow and the colors are just <laughs> <laughs> we need to move the camera out of the way so you can see Fiona <laughs> <laughs> no they're absolutely beautiful I, I, I can't believe I've been able to work with them they're just stunning just stunning look at that one just look at it Sorry, oh. that's from across the studio, obviously, but they're just, oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. So, this isn't all you're going to get, but it's a good eye. It's a good start, isn't it? <laughs> all right. Oh, well, hold on a minute. Could I just get and make that even better by giving you an 85 centimetre strand of Ethiopian opals? Yes way. These are as playing as they, but they're just uh, different sizes. <laughs> Gorgeous. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. there's so much. Oh gosh, you can, again, you need to see these with your own naked eyes. These are ridiculous. Pinks, greens, neons, every angle. They're just amazing. Can you see them? A little bit. Oh, wait till you get them home. They're ridiculously gorgeous. Oh, it doesn't even slightly come across. Oh, fooey. Do you know what I'd love to do? I'd love to just go out that fire exit and take the camera with me and show you in daylight. I would do it. Camera doesn't come off. The Can we do it? I love it. Glenn's like, yeah, let's do it. The alarm will go off. Do we not have to phone them to ask them to turn the alarm off in the fire door first? The, Helena is not, not up for this at all. She's like, yeah, yeah. I would take this outside to show you. I had a question from guest designer Sammy. Oh, hiya, hiya. Lovely to hear from you, Sammy. You said, hello, ladies. Oh, whoa, those opals are divine. I can't believe they are in a kit. They all are, they are almost as wonderful as Fiona's talent. This is very true. Almost, but not quite there. <laughs> They're getting there. Oh, bless her. Thanks, lovely Sammy. to hear from you, Sammy. Isn't that lovely? That's lovely. I've gone all blushing. Oh, <laughs> we love a oh. blushing Fiona Porter. <laughs> Lovely. If you want to get in contact with us, jewelrymaker.com is the message service on the website, which is totally free. Yeah, it doesn't cost you anything. Um, or alternatively, you can join me on the, uh, the text, which is 60777. Do you know we dance there, Glenn? Mm -hmm. You do know we dance there? No, I'm just keeping away. He's like this. <laughs> <laughs> I think he knew he off to. He stopped now, so now I look silly, but he was like this. Stretching, um, you've been standing up for a while, have you? Poor Glenn. Um, 
Why was it telling you? Oh, yeah, 60777. If you put GM Studio at the start of the text, we'll get a normal network charge to fly. These are gorgeous. And do you know what's going to be amazing? is when Fiona Potter starts to work with them. Because um, you'll be able to see, I think, I reckon it's going to come on the cro across on the camera even better when you see Fiona's designs, because Fiona's designs showcase these opals in probably one of, if not the best ways I've ever, ever uh, experienced. It's, it's brilliant. Um, and you get chain. This is a little bit of the chain I was showing you earlier. Remember when we had the locket, and I was trying to show, or I'm calling it a locket, sorry, forgive me, the clasp. And I was trying to show you the difference um, in size. These are in size-wise, uh, 23 by 12 millimeter, twisted oval links, and they're um, copper with silver plated on a 38 centimeter strand. So 38 centimeters of your chain, which is copper based and then silver plated on top. In fact, I think you thought it was silver, didn't you? Is that yes. that, that thick? It's, it's gorgeous and it's, it's actually quite soft to cut as well. Really nice. Nice to work with? Yeah, lovely. Mm. Lovely. <laughs> I'm so excited for you to see what Fiona's made. You are going to be in love. Right, so I'll get, get the price in. Now, I just want to make you aware, this opal strand is £29.95 on its own. The brand new one, the big one. The biggest one I think I've offered. They range to seven by three mil. They're, I mean, look at them, they're huge. So the, for this strand alone, you should be paying $29.95. So if I put it all together, give you a whole strand of nuggets, plus the chain, and give it to, it should be $51.85. But I'm gonna take it to buying the opal strand on its own, and then five pounds for the nuggets and the chain. That's a little bit wrong, isn't it? Very wrong. But I'm not often right. So, uh, oh, I am right, but not often what I do is right. Is it all right to be wrong? It's all right to be wrong. Um, at £34.95. So £29.95 is the, the natural Ethiopian and they're natural opals. We've not dyed them, we've not treated them, we've not added anything to them. They've not been smoked or, or treated... Um, or bait treatments for genuine gemstones. I've not just made that up. So at $34.95, you get the Ethiopian oval strand, technically at full price, $29.95, and then the other, the full strand of nuggets, 85 centimetres, plus the 38 centimetres of chain for just five pounds. I'm gonna bring your challenge as well. Um, if you just tuned in, it's Fiona Potter. <laughs> it doesn't feel right without having a big audience of clapping. We need, we need a studio audience, I think. <laughs> I think it is me. We've got Pete. Well, he's only just walked in the door. All right, we'll do it again. Pete, Fiona Potter. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's how it should be, isn't it? That's how it should be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very good studio audience, both Glenn and Pete. Loving your work. Loving your work. <laughs> um, right, so <clears throat> how much fun did you have working with this? The best fun. Absolutely the best fun. You wanted to do this yes. best today as well, didn't you? I did, because this is just, <laughs> both of these the kits today are fantastic. But this, the opals are just absolutely exceptional. Mm. The file, as soon as I open them, it's like, yes. <laughs> you know, I just couldn't wait to get started. I'm just going to, if you don't mind, no. take the bracelet off um, of the... I'm not going to wear it and steal it. I might <laughs> wear it and borrow it, dibs it. But um, <laughs> I'm not going to, I've never stolen anything. Ben, is that what you want to do, Ben? Can you see the opalescence coming through a little bit better? If I move them around, you can see maybe just a little bit. So this has been made with your opals. Beading thread? A little bit of beading thread. A little bit thread. of beading thread. Yeah. Um, some crimp, a little bit of um, 0.25 wire as mm. well. Now this resin, what you're looking at here, this is clear resin. Absolutely, there's no colour to it whatsoever. It's just dobing resin and nothing else. Which is allowing the opals, can you see the greens and the blues? To really just burn, that's all, your natural opal essence that oh gosh, I've just been just struggling oh, to show you. Look at green flash then, did you see that? Yeah. <gasps> Mm. 
I don't really get how the studio lights work and how the camera picks up colour and sends it up to the satellite and then sends it through to your TV screen and all the different colours that you've got on your mm. telly and it can never really do natural colours. <coughs> I struggle with that because my director Tom always explains it to me but not in a way that I could ever really explain it and sound knowledgeable because he's just too knowledgeable for me. <laughs> but for some reason if you think about your, your rainbows and you think about the, when it comes through a camera, the natural phenomenon that these gemstones have are never really going to come, if you just got your own paint and colours, uh, you're never really going to be able to recreate those colours from a natural opal, but maybe with the resin it's preventing the light having as much of their bleaching of the gem, I, I don't know if that's preventing that from happening as much, but it is allowing it a little bit better for them to, um, to dance and, and to really flirt. I'm excited about these. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> We're loving this. Everybody's going, oh yes, look, you can see how many people are on the phones already. Everybody wants to get involved Gosh. with these. So you might want to make the exact same designs as Fiona. You might want to have inspiration from Fiona's designs. Um, you might be looking at this thinking, oh, now that I've seen that, it makes me want to do this. So that's what design inspiration is all about. It's about coming up with Fiona's, having a look at Fiona's designs, choosing what you would do with it, whether you want to do the same, whether you want to incorporate some of what Fiona's done with maybe some other gems that you've got at home. Um, now, looking at the different colours, these are new colours, brand new colours in a resin. Yeah, they're resin pastes. Oh, this is exciting. And the, and the fluorescent, right. the fluorescent resin paints, resin paste. This is awesome. So brand new and they fluoresce. Oh, hello. <laughs> um, and you can mix them. Yes. Which is gorgeous. I love that. It's almost getting the natural golden orange and, and, and caramels that you're getting from some of the Ethiopian opals as well. I have Ooh. to say, I mean, for mixing the colours, I took my inspiration from the opals themselves. Did you? And then I just sort of sat and played. So some of them are the straight colours and others I've mixed. Okay. So yeah, are we I've like to are we fun. like to do it? I want to yes. do it. I want. I'm I'm running on the spot. I'm really excited. I mean, <laughs> can we start? Are we allowed to start, Helena? Yay! Yay! Great! I forget. I like wait. I feel like I have to ask permission. <laughs> like I'm at school and I'm like a child. Okay. I'm the boss. I'll take that. I'm the boss. <laughs> We're starting now. Thank you. Well, as I said, the, the inspiration from from this was actually looking at the opals themselves. I knew that there was a design that I wanted to do, but when I got the gemstones, that was just awesome. Can I pop these yes, to the side? Course. Is that allowed? Sorry, yeah. I know you're talking, but I just, just want to start to so make see what you're doing. So <laughs> what I've, what I've done here, um, or what I've, how I've done this, th this is um, a part of the chain as it comes to you. Okay. So just turn my ring round. Um, and what I've done is, is cut into the chain and um, to make a backless bezel. Ooh, a backless, a backless bezel. bezel. Sounds quite fancy, doesn't it? <laughs> and sure. that, that is then, the light can shine through it. So if ever you're short of getting a bezel, you know, if you follow this technique, you will be able to... Um, and you could do this with any type of chain? Yes, pretty, mu pretty much so. It needs to be flat. Yep. But we're going to, and this has got, us obviously, this lovely twisted texture. Mm, but we're going I to like just that. give a slight bit of hammering to that. So you don't need to cut into every ch every link. Just do sort of every other one. And if you're very careful and look at the link, you can generally see where That's the join right. has been made. And if you make a little nick there, it's so malleable you can just twist it with your fingers take the links off and then push it together again and that was your flush together. cutters you've used that was my flush cutters yeah so you could use normal cutters but flush use, cutters will give you a cleaner yeah, I have and it will say, fit yeah, back together much better won't it my suggestion for this would be to use your flush cutters if you've got them simply because when you're going to join this them back together i mean this one here if you can see that one has actually been joined at the bottom. Oh yeah. So because that was where the join was. But I've got a nice clean clutch. Now we are going to back this all all around before we put the resin in. So it doesn't So matter. it's not going to leak. It okay. should be fine, but you do need to get a fairly a fairly um, even if you can join. Okay. Put it on a steel block. Now, I've, I've bought the um, anvil because I'm going to be using that later as well. So I'm, I'm using that rather than the steel block because they're all heavy to bring. And I am literally just going to... If you ever want a steel block, just let me know because we'll have one in a drawer somewhere. Right. OK. So, and I am just... It is a tap... It's that not a... That doesn't sound as noisy. It's That's not good. a great big belt. It's just a gentle tap on both sides. Um, I'm not trying to flatten it. 
and I'm then just going to give one little gentle tap on either side because I want it, I want them all to be as, as, as even as possible. Is that almost a little bit of just sort of work hardening it's, yeah, a it's, little bit as well, does, isn't it? It does kind of work hard on it, although um, once the resin is actually in this and has cured, it really isn't going to go anywhere. That's, um, it's really nice that it's not taking out any of the rope style design, it just shows you how solid that design actually is itself, isn't it? It does, it's, it's, a, it's a fantastic chain, I really was really pleased. I mean, pick, pick, pick this one out and I have to say it, it's lovely, it's just done the job perfectly. So that's the first part. I'm now going to move um, the block So what, away. how many would you need? As many as you want? As many for as your you necklace. want. Look at, look at what you're going to do, whether you're going to do the, just the necklace Three, four, five, um, six, or whether you're going to do a necklace eight, and bracelet, eight, earrings or whatever. I think you did 11 for the necklace. Oh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for the bracelet, if I yeah. counted that correctly. And that, and two for the earrings, and that was as many links yeah. as there was. So I've used every link, but I've got three pieces of jewellery with it. So that's 18, 19, 20. 20 you yeah, would, you I would used, work I used you every would do one. your hammering all the way around for. Now this is the next, the, the fun bit, and it's a really important stage. I'm taking some decent quality sticky tape. See-through sticky tape? See-through sticky tape. Now, the reason I say a decent quality, I've tried this with cheap packing tape. Okay. I've tried it with cheap sticky tape, and I can honestly tell you the best results that I've had have been using the better quality one. Okay. So no cheapy tape. No, th and the reason for this is once the resin has cured, what you're going to need to do is pull it off. Uh, and you don't and want it to stick to it. No, do you? and this one um, in particular seems to hardly leave any residue behind. I mean, you do, you can work the residue off. That's absolutely fine. That's giving yourself extra but, work, really. Isn't you know, it? I am all for I'm all for one um, for, for trying to get as much done as I can. As I go yeah. along in the stages, I just need to get that one clicked back. It's just not quite gone in. Right, so if that happens and it doesn't quite go in, so just, what's happened? Just, it's just not gone quite back together as it needs to. All right, so you just That's want to try to make I could it just, fit. Yeah, I could just see a little, in the a little gap. That one may leak a little bit. We'll just have a look. Um, but if it does, the other thing I can tell you um, is that although it did, I, I did have some that leaked. And I just literally filed them off with the, needle, with the little needle files. Oh, and right. It was, and it was absolutely fine. Okay. Now, make absolutely sure that you've got a really, really good bond on the back. Um, if it leaks a little bit, it, it's, it's not the end of the world, as I say. So that's, that's the next bit. Now, that is ready, then, um, to take the resin. I just remember the last thing I did was I just gently tapped it all over just to give it a little bit of extra pressure but that was that's my choice um, so that's that's now ready prepared and we're ready to mix the resins Ooh. Ooh, the brand new resins and um, have we got many sorry to be rude have we got many of the Ethiopian opal rainbow exquisite rainbows left less than 20 left so I know we're enjoying Gosh. watching what's going on but I don't want you to then think oh I love that design right now I want to get it I'm going to make it and then I've sold out so you've got 30 days to change your mind see if you get it now and then you think oh I'm going to I've decided not to go for it you can call the call center and change your mind it's not a problem but if you haven't got one then you can't do that so now is the time to, to call and get it we're going to be introducing the resins in a moment you've not missed them sorry for your right mind. okay now with this, with these resin paste, they are designed by the company that makes the resins, so um, they all work so well together. But it's a slightly different weight ratio. Okay. Um, the percentage. And I'm going to have to read this because I've tried That's my fine. hardest to remember this. Oh, you don't need to remember it. Um, That's what uh, it's, it's written down. And what what, what I'm going to do is get this um, copied so that we can put it onto the Facebook page. Yeah, for we're going to so have it. We were talking it. earlier, like yeah. a recipe. So you're going to we're going to put it on the, the Facebook page. So whenever you go to do your resins of the, the fluorescent type, with the pinks and the greens and the blues, if you do decide to go for these, which I imagine you will, um, <laughs> then we'll put that on there for you as well. So it's a little sort of ratio working out it um, is. for your for your of your what you would add with your colour and your hardening and everything. It is, and I'm looking here, that's right, I have to just remind myself. You look, it's not a problem. Um, we'll, we'll put it up for you as well, don't worry. When you're mixing, uh, putting the paste in, the paste and the resin needs to be mixed thoroughly before you add the hardener. Okay. And also what you need to do <laughs> is... It's <laughs> like Halloween green. It, it's, it's like slime. Like it's, it's gorgeous, it's the most gorgeous green. that? 
Halloween slime. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's gorgeous. Um, and this, this needs to be no more than 5%. I, I am going to have to read it. That's fine. Um, That's you get in the opal that neon is um, oh, awesome. because I want to have a total of one gram of wet in weight of okay. resin because obviously we're only going to do two well I, I might do three colored ones mm -hmm. and one of the clear ones um, so I've already weighed, weighed one gram um, I'm now going to add in an extra nine grams of the green of, of the uh, not of the green oh. of, of the uh, resin so let me naught it again and I know I know that I need nine so we'll squeeze that one in and I will, I'll go through each one of these um, and I'm going to ask Ali if yes. you wouldn't mind mixing for me. Oh yes. <laughs> if I show thought you I was going to have to do the boring bit and read all the <laughs> figures and then you know, oh, right. back in chemistry. Ooh. So we've got that on there so obviously I know that this is a total um, of one gram so that when I come to put my hardener in I'm going to be able to mix in just I should just need half a gram and make sure that you get it all off your stick I'll and get down the, the side so if I can give you that yes, one to carry on mixing at me what happens if I get it on my hands if you get it on your hands I've got some kitchen paper or just it, it or a wipe it comes off it's not staining awesome. providing I like, I've got say, my pretty dress on today don't get it on your dress because I'm not sure what would happen with your dress now I'm going to do the same with the pink Okay, so we're going to have another um, nine, uh, and I'm going to say nine grams, I mean 0 0.9 grams, no, nine grams, 0 0.9, 0 0.9 because I want it to weigh a total of, of one gram, sorry, I, mass was never my strong point, which is why I always have to keep looking at this. It's fine, you've got it. Okay, I'll hand one more little squeeze, and when that one's mixed, if you want to have Carry on and mix that one for me, Ali. That would I'm be okay great. to stop okay? and leave yeah, it. That's fine. Have I done good? You've done a great job. That's terrible English, isn't it? Have I done good? Have I good? done good? She, the girl, girl done, done good. The girl done good. That was fun. Right, so <laughs> I'll put that one down. And if you would like to carry on I with that one. Love to. And then I'm going to have a go with the blue one and do exactly the same. Now, this one I managed to um, somehow, as I was a lot tidier with the blue. I, I, every time I do this, I always bring the scales back to naught. Uh, and normally, if I was doing this at home, when I was doing this at home, um, I would have put the paste in and then carried straight on with the resin. But I just wanted to try and speed up the demo a little bit. You so were we doing a blue pizza prepared. Um, I am. You were yeah, doing. definitely. So we'll carry on. And these, as I say, these colours are just divine. Um, I've got a sample of, of, a, of a bangle that I've also done that I can show you with this so that you can actually see what the colours are going to look like. Um, and I, the other thing I've tried to do here is I don't want to have um, the full depth of colour that you can get. Sorry. So these, this is more diluted um, because, I, you know, as I say, I want to pick up the colours in, um, in the opals, but I don't want to overpower them. So we have um, all of those ready. What I'm now going to do is, is put the hardener in and then I'm also going to mix a clear one. So obviously we've mixed one full gram, yeah, one full gram um, of weight there of the paste and the resin combined. So what we're now going to do is to add in 0.5 um, of the hardener to each of these pots. Don't worry, we're going to put all of this on. Now, if you're not on Facebook, don't worry, alrighty. Um, but we will be able to get it to you. If you've not got Facebook, which is where we're gonna put it up on, on the website as well, um, say to the call center, because I imagine if you don't have Facebook, you probably won't be joining me on the web. So um, join, because you don't have to be a member of Facebook to look at the pictures on Facebook. You could just type in facebook.com forward slash jewelry maker UK and you can look at all of the pictures. Um, you don't have to be a Facebooker to do it. Um, but if you're not using the internet, say to the call centre and they can drop me an email with an email address for you and I will, or I can phone you and I can break down for you once we get off air, all right? So if, don't panic if you're thinking, oh, I want to know the measurements as well, I'm not on Facebook. Just tell the call centre, they've got my email, it's ali at tggc.com and I can get all that forwarded to you so yeah. you're not going to miss out, don't worry. I'm saying that because we're about to move on from the exquisite rainbow um, opals because they're about to sell out. Get the code, it's KLGC96 
and we're going to bring on the brand new resins now or in just a wee moment so now you can get these as well all righty yeah so i'm just i'm good can i get you to make yes, the green one I, please Ellie. the blue one so, sorry yes i'm doing the green one <laughs> Oh dear, I can't do maths and I'm colour blind. I'm not doing it well at all, am I? No, it's because, um, well, you're standing mixing the greens. So obviously, that's in your head, it isn't is, it? It is, absolutely. Um, and when I've done this one, I'm going to mix another one and we're going to mix a purple and then Yee! we're going to mix a clear. Just to, Hold just on, purple. Is that adding the blue and the pink the together? The blue and the pink, yeah. yeah. And I had, I honestly had the best fun just mixing these up um, and um, playing with the colours to see what we could get. Safety wise, I'm just thinking about this because when I was in the Girl Guides, I used to be a, a leader um, and I got to choose the things that we could do. I know <laughs> I wasn't allowed in the brownies, but I was a leader at the Girl Guides. Um, but why was I telling you that? Oh, yeah. And I got to choose the sort of um, some of the things each week you would have a different a different leader would bring in something yeah. to do. So I could bring in different hobbies. I and mean, you remember those beads that used to iron together and things oh, yes. like that and yeah. put pins together, make things. Could I? Is there any? Can if, we do you, it or if you're doing it with, I would say, if you, you know, if you're doing with doing it with children, I would always, you know, sort of supervise them. I really would because, um, obviously, they're not toxic, but you do need to sort of protect your skin. Put a little bit of um, barrier cream on, like this, the Aretol that we do, um, or wear some gloves. But as well as that, you know, you, you, I was doing polymer clay with my little four-year-old granddaughter yesterday. Okay. Um, so and girl guides are like 16. So, yes, well they would be, they should be fine. Because this would be a great I mean, hobby. I noticed, you know, she was working with the clay and then she went to do it to touch her eyes, so I sort of... Make sure you didn't. Make so sure as long as you keep an eye on them. Yeah, absolutely. Just keep your eye on and supervise them, make sure that they're okay. So, I'm sorry, this is quite, it's quite long to get the colours mixed. That's because, fine. Do you want me to um, it doesn't. It doesn't matter how many we... Yeah, that, that, that one should be mixed. If you'd like to carry on with the pink and then I will do the purple. Haha, <laughs> now this one is fun. I love this. I just love mixing the colours. Um, and what I'm going to do is, is use a couple of cocktail sticks because it will just be easier for me to drop those into the bin as well. Little, um, these little things. So Now these are already going, so we're going to get the should be price in for you. Don't panic. As good as it is, it's not going to be your price. That's less than a ticket to the football, that is. Oh, I'd rather have this. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I'm after speaking to somebody after who St. Medin, after St. Medin winning yesterday, <laughs> I would maybe debate with you. Um, but uh, for all the other weeks, we've lost. So, um, seventeen ninety. Couldn't get much for seventeen ninety five for a day out, could you? No. Mm. Um, so you get thirty grams of each colour. Um, this is the mixing. So you've gone. So, oh, right. So how did you sort this? this out? So what I've done is I've just dipped the cocktail stick in, one in one in the um, pink, pink, and one in the blue. Um, and then I've just mixed them together like So you're like just trying that. to get an even quantity before you put them into I am, in. although I've not done a very good job there, so I'll, I will show you again because I should have shown you from the beginning. I'm going to take the pot for Which you. Which is mine, thank you. <laughs> no, you, you need more hands, don't you? I do, yes. And then the same on the blue. Well, that's good if you use the lid. That's a good idea. So I, good th that's the roughly lid. the same amount. And I'm just going to scrape it down and drop it into the pot. Okay, and I mean you haven't got to mix the colour at this stage. You're, you know, it doesn't matter about that because we're going to put the resi resin in, and as we're mixing that all in together, now I have actually that's really good. I have got one gram in there, which is what I was hoping for. So I'm now going to add um, a 0 0.1 gram. So now I'm going to add the 0 0.9 of the resin um, to give so you a to gram give me overall. A gram. And Ali, can you confirm that that says one? Yep, that yep, says that one. Says one. So, if, once you've done that, if you would like, then like to mix that one together for me. So, just to break it down quickly, fact, um, we've gone one. for 0 0.9 um, of a gram of the the um, hardener of the, re of the of oh, the sorry, resin, of the resin um, and the colour you would use 0 0.1. So the no. colour is 0 0.1. The hardener is your. Um, you're, me and you are getting confused, Ben. Ben and Ben and I are both thinking hardener and it's raisin. Um, yeah, we have you put, add. So it's, it's I, I've used one gram of the colour paste. So it 0.1 gram of the colour paste to 0.9 grams of the resin, resin to come together to, to make come a gram. together and mix that. That makes one gram and a nice even colour. I'm then going to add in, take the scales back to zero, and add in um, the hardener. 
not the resin. So the harder you resin. do at the very, very end, regular viewers, yep. sorry, you probably all know how to do this because you probably watched Fiona a million times and think, I love her, I, I know how to do this. Um, and we're adding in 0.5 grams. So we've got a, so total, a so we've got a total weight of 1.5 of the completed. Overall. Yeah. But yes, one more to squeeze. Perfect. So um, we've had a question about one. the scales. Is that? Are you asking me? Oh, she's on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was asking me. I was like, I don't know. I have a question about the pots, though. Yeah. Do we get the pots? No. If not, where do we? Where can we? What do we use? The How can I the use pots, these pots? Um, this, the the pots I use here, these are the ones that I had originally with my starter kit two years ago. So if you didn't get the starter kit, you won't have a pot. Could you just use the lid off the top of something? Um, do you know what I'm, I quite often use um, when I'm at home because it, it's, it's, I know it's Convenient. wasteful, All right. but it's, it's cheap um, and I, it, they're disposable. And Plastic I just, I, I go to the, um, the, the shops Take where you can get things for a pound. Oh yeah. And I buy a pack of shot, little plastic shot glasses. All right. And you get about 80. <laughs> oh, for a pound. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so that's an idea. I'm just thinking, because if I, I'm, I'm, we've got the resin, but we don't have the pots. So no. you could just get something that's plastic. Something that's plastic. A little yeah. plastic pot. Um, little plastic cups. Perfect. You know, things that, that you can easily just throw away. OK. Um, I mean, the shot pots. Because you wouldn't you, use you, them you again, could, is that what you're saying? You could use the shot pots again, but quite honestly, at that price, and the amount that I, I, I do, I just I'm, no I'm naughty and I throw them away. So this is the fun bit. Yay! Okay, we'll go to the to the end one first, and I am literally just picking up a little bit of resin on the tip of um, the lollipop stick, and it's a gentle spread. And as, as I said to the ladies in the resin workshop on um, Tuesday, with these techniques. Less is very definitely more. Yeah, I was going to say, you don't really, it's a little bit like nail polish, you don't really need that much, it spreads out quite well. It does. So, sorry, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going and to, I appreciate you might not use nail polish that often. <laughs> I just don't know. I'm going to and laughing, I was thinking, oh yeah, I can't imagine Glenn with his nails painted. <laughs> now, I'm going to get some green. Again, and there's a little drop on that, and I'm going to drop it in and, and, and pull it. And I'm going to get a bit of pink. I'm going to pull that in the next one. Oh. Those, are we okay? We can get the shots of this okay on camera. Yeah. And I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll have a pink one in there and we'll just do one of the clear ones. Because the clear ones is dead easy. The fun, it, I have to say, the biggest fun with this is, is just this addition of colour. And then we'll have a bit of blue in that one. And then I'm going to go back over there and put a little tiny weeny bit of blue in that one. And a tiny weeny bit of blue in that one. Lots of tiny weenies going on. You could make the, um, I want to call it um, Grecian, but I, I know it's, it, I, I'm not entirely exactly sure on the Orion, but the Turkish eye or the Grecian eye, um, you could make that at the, it's known as the evil eye, but it's supposed to warn off evil, isn't you it? Could, you could. So you could do the, yes. the blue and then have a, a black dot in the middle and you could create that. And Because those see. bracelets are absolutely mega when it comes to summertime. Everybody wants them. They do. So they sell for an absolute fortune, they do. I hope the camera can, can is, that, is that picking up okay yeah. so that you can it's see picking the different it up, colours? Absolutely. And I think we'll just have one more little tiny weeny bit of blue in that one. Could you? This is something that I learned from yourself when we were doing, I think it was a DVD. Um, it might even have been one of the birthday ones. But could you? I was going to say, you got your cocktails out. So <laughs> I could I just put these. one one pink and, and like one green together and then use a cocktail stick and like swirl it around? Yeah. Would it stay or would it not? Don't get me excited Go like on, that. Go on, you do that one. What do I do? Just whatever you want to do to it. <laughs> you can have free reign. If you mix them too oh, much, no, you yeah, might make them mud. <laughs> they're <a bit> brown <laughs> now. But it's not. That's I okay. It. Because some, there are brown, there are brown tones in the opals. Um, I mean, some of the ones I did, I just pulled them out. Just like My that. is much better. You I'm like pull swirling that one around. around and, but you can. If you were doing a bigger piece, yes, you you would get more of a swirl. Now, if you look on this one, on this um, the, the one next one. one I'm just getting, I don't know if it's coming on the front. If I turn that, I'm just going to turn this oh, around. Oh, you can see just, just what the under camera to see. I don't know if you can just pink it there. down there. There's just a little bit of seepage on that one because I've been a little bit overzealous and put too much in. 
So it doesn't say, go over the top, it comes out. It co it's from coming below. out from the boat. Ah. And, and I, the reason for that, whenever I have a complete, I do this using wire as well. Right. And whenever I have wire, I don't have a problem because it's completely flat. Ah, but because because, it's got because the we've got the, in the ridges it. in it, it's. It, it, there is still a little chance that you're going to get a little bit of seepage there, but honestly, it really doesn't matter. Okay. Um, I just took them off with the, ne the little needle files afterwards. Oh, easy. Absolutely fine. And I'm just going to see if any of these... No, they haven't got any. I was just thinking I'd, I'd left one to show you what they would come out like, but of course, typical, I haven't. So that's all you need to do to that one, or to those three. Um, I'm now going to do the clear one so that you can see exactly what I just want to talk you through um, what I what I did with the clear. If um, I move this, is that going to be drama? I'm, I'm going to need to use it though. Is that if, if I just put it to yeah. the side? Is that okay? That's lovely. Yay. Is that okay like that? So I'm I'm literally just going to mix up. Um, I'm going to put half, um, 0.5 um, of the resin. Of, of, of the resin. In fact, it would be a lot easier for myself if I did 0.6, because I've got to use half. There we go. So, I so I'm hoping this isn't going to be, oh, it's gone to 0.7. It'll be fine. I'm just moving it up a wee bit, just because my director wanted to see it. Yeah. I don't want to, you know no, sometimes when you move scales and the digital ones and then, and then, it, then, and then it, it ruins easy. the number. I don't want I to miss it. I think I am going to treat myself to some new scales because these are getting incredibly sticky, but I've been using them a very long time. So I've put 0 0.6 it's not in. Broke. Why fix it? So now I'm going to put 0 0.3 of the hardener in. And that's why it's handy with these, you know, why you've got... That? Oh. It's gone from zero to two, it just takes its better. time that way, did, didn't it? it? I was thinking actually, it on. wasn't quite, wasn't broken, quite it? there. And then I, I, I'm going to do the normal thing here, mix it for two minutes. And I just love what we can do with this one in, in a second. Um, I, what I ha normally as well, I would set these resins once, I, once I've mixed them and uh -huh. done the two minutes. Um, I recommend that you um, just put them to the side, just leave them to one side for up to, up to five minutes, no more okay. than five minutes, because then if you haven't had any bubbles appear... Have any bubbles? Um, because obviously as you're stirring, you're introducing air. Do you want me to stir and you can do the next bit, like the holes or something, and then that way I'm not... Um, I, the, the holes, I've just... I, I or do, you can talk, I you can can talk, talk and stir. I can talk I can't stir. multitask, that's why. <laughs> just while I'm stirring that. Yeah. Um, what I did um, then with, with those is I, I got my Dremel, um, so if, if, if you haven't got a Dremel, oh. then just use a little, just use a little pin vise. But you need, that is a 0 0.8 drill bit, okay. 0 0.8 mil drill bit. Um, make sure that you've marked on it exactly where you want to do. And what I recommend is that you, as you're going to make your um, drill holes, mark them on one like that one is there. Use a piece of tape or a ruler or something so that you're going to get them exactly level. Okay. And then move on to the next one, but put the next one next to it so that you're making sure that you're getting all your drill holes in exactly the same line. So you do it like that. So that, yeah. And the same, even the, um, the opals, they've got to be drilled as well. And it's very soft, it's very easy to do. It doesn't take many minutes. Uh, or even many seconds, you, and as I say, you can, if you haven't got a Dremel, you can just use a little pin vise. Um, I've got a little sort of like a, a miniature drill that is no bigger than, I don't know, three or four inches that you can use sort of if you're doing doll's house things, Ooh, right. um, which is good fun. Um, and that again, if you can get your drill bit into that, it, it doesn't take any any doing at all. all. No, um, just so you know, we're going to pop in the um, the resin and the hardener for you now, so you can get that as well. Because I know you might have got your colours. If you haven't got them, they are SRGC39. And um, we'll pop them at the bottom of the screen. But just so you remember, that's the, the colours. You get the, your three, your fluorescent green, pink, and your blue, and you get yourself 30 grams of each, so 90 grams in total. Um, we took it down in price as well, so try and get that while the price is down. Um, and then now we're going to do the resin and the hardener, which is what you're using for the clear one yeah. just now. Now, I'm, all I'm going to put in the bottom of this is just one little tiny scoop on the end of the mixing stick. And I'm spreading that out. And I'm going to pop that on there just a second. And then, <gasps> bit, <laughs> this is getting the opals and literally just drop them in. It pops out, don't worry about it. 
Have a cocktail stick handy, then you'll know why in a minute. And a clean one, because you don't want okay, to use one that's got a bit of colour from the other one. Absolutely a clean one. Oh my gosh, there's loads there. You can fit that many in? Yeah, you can put quite a few in. And I'm just going to lift that up with a cocktail stick. Now, what we're going to do then, and I don't mind if they're sort of coming over the edges either, because I just think it adds to the texture. Get your resin again, get another little, um, just a single scoop on the edge of your um, mixing stick. And very gradually, let it start to drop and draw across and then repeat it it's again. It's like a little opal mountain. It's, uh, and now, can you see the colours starting to pop? Not from the side, well, like, <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Oh, I love it, just oozing. You can see some of the greens coming through now, can't yeah. you? Now, look at the flash of green now. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about putting the resin on top. I think it but might it really just prevent the, the light from bleaching the colour out of them. I... And then what you need to do is get your cocktail stick at the end and just make sure there's a space, a clear space oh, for the resin. Your whole... And that's it. That is all that you have to do with that. And then they just need to be left to set. And uh, that middle one really is, is, is leaching out quite a lot, but the other two aren't at all. So it's, it's There's been a fun. breach. There's been a breach. So I'm going to put that to one side, and then I'm going to talk you through um, oh, how we, so how we move room. that. And if I can pull yes, that one up your tree over the back. top, that would be lovely. I'm going to try not to put it in the I was resin. just thinking, shall I move the resin over onto I'll the back? Move it all. Thank you. I can be then, useful something. Thank you. So then just sort of lay out where you want these um, putting. Now these have all had drill holes. Now I'm going to turn these over and just show you the back of them. Because you do need to see what they look like. Quite matte and finish at the back, yeah. aren't they? Now if you wanted to, there is nothing to stop you now. Oh, yeah, there is one other thing. Once the colours have, have completely dried and completely cured, yeah. so about 24 hours, okay. I then did another clear layer of resin over the top. So I've, I've got a single layer of doming resin over the top. And that's made the colours underneath those pop. So doming resin isn't the one we've just used there, is yeah, it? Yeah, that is that is so the, the same that one. is the doming resin. So but the one that's on screen just now with the hardener, you would do the exact same measure out the exact yes. same uh, amount. In fact, and then just do what a little dip on the top. Is that a plain do one? To, do you want me to show you what it would yes, look like? Yes, I would. Because we do still have a little bit left, don't we? We've got ten can minutes we, can left. We so we can we just have the, the block, Ali? Just to uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> just don't want to do it straight on there and ruin that. There, so just pop that on there, and then a little tiny, and, and you really don't need a lot, and gradually sort of move that up, but really try hard to um, to get Keep the it. resin to make a slight contact with the edge of the wire, or the, the edge of the link. Um, chain link, but don't try to push it over because otherwise it will pull itself down over the edge. Oh, and drip down. Yeah. But if, again, if you can see the difference then of how that has popped, Pop. in comparison to that one there that hasn't had it on. So we could do that one as well. I'll tell, you what we'll do, I'll tell you what we'll do with that one, just to be a little bit different. We'll put it on the back. We'll put it on the back so that you can see the back can also change. And, and you can decide whether you want to do that or not. I'm just going to have to use another. Oh, I'm worried about getting it onto your fingers more than anything else. Ah. Because I haven't stuck it down, have I? Um, and you don't have to stick these down. It's just that I find it an easier way to work. There, now no, I am, well, the, the back is of much that easier, was completely it? flat. Um, so if I and can now, take one off here so you can that, see, just you look can wear it both ways once you've done that yeah, then, you can you? Yeah, you can have it complete. So that, actually doing it that like way that. would make it even nicer for earrings. That's lovely. Okay, so and you would just leave that for 24 hours? Just leave that for 24 hours. Do I have to put it in the fridge? Do I have uh, to... No, definitely don't put it in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like thinking we of cakes. We need to have, we need to have um, a room temperature of around about 18 degrees. So just leave it in the room you're working in there. Yeah, and cover it with, um, you know, sort of a, 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 if you get an ups, a, upturned plastic box, 
put that on it ah, and that okay. will reduce the risk of any dust getting into it. Oh yeah, the last thing you want to do with that. It's like when you yeah. paint your nails with clear nail polish and then you end up finding some random bit oh, of dust in there and you think, where well, it was absolutely. flat a minute ago and now I've got a big lump. Or a light. pet hair or something. Oh yeah. So that, that's how you make those. Now obviously, I mean, I can take you through the whole design, but it, I don't think we've got time to do the whole thing. But what I did then, um, I, where's the, where were the, oh there they are. Sorry, I'm losing my, losing the plot. So, having drilled the holes at the side, um, I then did the two ends and I've taken a little bit each of um, two separate pieces of beading thread and threaded on some of the opals. You do need to make sure you've got the same number and obviously I haven't on that one so we'll pull a few off. So you've and done a graduation so I've, that I've, I've, I have you've said, followed I've taken the these strand. straight off the strand and I've taken them off both ends of the strand. Can so, I hold that so yep. you can see? So that's the strand as it came to me, but one goes on one end and one goes on the other. And I'm, what I'd like to do is just join one, one, of, one, of, one of each of these onto one of these ends so that you can see what to do. Perfect. Now I'm going to use um, gold wire just because I think just to see the contrast between the silver. You will actually be able to, to, to see what you know what you're doing oh, in, yeah, in you'll a better be able to way. See it on the camera better as well. Eh? So the first thing we're going to plan do is you take that. the end of not that piece that, because that's say, the actual that's strand. Is oh, trust me, it's this piece. Take the piece off you the strand the and thread on one little crimp bead and then take through the hole and thread that through the crimp bead. Oh, well done, that's quite Six. tricky to do in one position and for the camera to see, I can do that. Then, now you can then decide whether you're going to be really, really neat with these and do a curl or whether you're going to um, put a bead, a bead crimp cover on. I do like bead crimp covers because I just think they just finish and just give you a little bit more professionalism. And, and then they hide my, and then my rubbish off. crimping. <laughs> now with this one, <clears throat> what you then need to do is take two of the other opals off there. Luckily there's a couple, of, Ali's been really helpful <laughs> and you've tied a knot in them for me. Well I tied a really knot in it because I always, they all go flying for me so I thought if I just use the two ends and tie it together, one you're not <laughs> going to try and take any of it and two it's um, right. It's not going to go everywhere. So I've threaded, I've threaded the two opals onto there. I'm then going to take that through the other drilled hole. If I can see where I've drilled the hole. So in the actual design we used wi um, silver wire. Yep. Um, but this is just to allow it to be a little bit easier for the camera just to be able to see. So we've got that on there, and I'm going to take my round nose pliers, just turn a little bit of a kink in there. And I, I have to say, I tend to use my fingers an awful lot, especially with the fine wire, because then you're not going to snap it like I just did. If Which you're is just the tuning in, live telly. This is what we're making. Um, so it's this necklace. Um, And what we're currently doing is, in, well, actually, it's a little bit further. If I shimmy that round, you'll see that's all your opals down there. It's your first one, and then this um, Alison used her. Uh, Alison, that's my name. <laughs> if you want to use the crimp cover, um, and that's the first one, and then it went down to this is the part we're doing here, where you put it through, and you're wrapping that loop in between with the two opals yeah. on either side. Um, we've had a message in regarding your design there, uh, Fiona. Why don't we want to see what, call you Alison. Uh, it's from Ad Lisa Adele, a lovely name. Um, you've said these are gorgeous. <laughs> um, when making the new colours, they look like watermelon solar quartz. Gorgeous again. Thank you. Oh, they do actually. That's lovely, thank you. They would look really, really lovely with watermelon solar quartz. They would actually. Good call. Okay, so then I've, I've obviously just joined that one on, so we've got the join there, and I would definitely put a crimp bead yep, cover on there. I just think that. it would finish it. I wouldn't use gold wire, I would use silver, but I was just hoping that this would show up better yeah, when yeah, I Yeah, it done. does, it's a really good plan. Well um, done, you. And then you've, I've put two, and I've do, done pairs, but again, I've graduated them. So every time I've done one, I do one on that side, and then I repeat it on you that take, side. Yes, so I keep sure. going and I finish in the middle. That way I know that I've got, You've got you know, I've got all the graduation, everything's nicely balanced. I have to say, the way that they've been put together on the strand, they are stunning. So I've sort of hoped that I haven't killed them, but try to enhance 
um, you know, the beauty of the gemstone because they, they are just absolutely stunning. I love what so, you've done. It's so fun. Pop it's a that totally one. different look on opals than I've ever it, seen. It's, it is different, isn't it? I was just trying to do something that was a little different. The contemporary. And, and this is just really like doing a rosary link. But just do be careful because it is 0 0.25 wire. And the, the other thing I think what I, that I did with the... Um, with this one, rather than using the wire, you know the very fine head pins that we get in the beading pack. Oh yes, packs, the, feather, the feather featherweight head pins. Yeah, I use featherweight head pins, but that's that. So that then just gives you the idea. And then you just repeat that round, and then you've already got the the other half of yeah. the, the clasp ready. And ready. you just you are just going to keep working all the way around. So. Gosh, I'm loving watching that. I just sort of got a massive flash of purple, not from the resin, even though the resin's purple, but just from above from one of those opals. Yeah. That's fabulous. <laughs> I, I absolutely love it, Fiona. Thank you. Love it. Enjoying it. I hope you enjoy it. And if you have got any sort of questions, you know, about using the resin paste or about mixing it, about getting the bezels set properly on the paper, by all means, you know, contact me on Facebook. Um, we've got my JM page or on, on the face on uh, Jewelry Makers page and I, I do go on and have a look so I will always answer if I can. Perfect and don't worry again if you don't have Facebook you can just call the call centre, it's a free number uh, and they can drop us a message, I can get in contact with Fiona yeah. for you uh, and we can get back to you so don't worry you can leave a number it's not a problem. So just to quickly go through the resins just very very quickly on what the what you would need, um, uh, sorry the resin and the colours. So with your colours you get 30 grams of each um, and they're brand new. We'll move that out to the side, sorry. So I move those over here. That's okay. me. Me designing to show you with a whole lot of things in front. I don't know why I didn't think that of that before. That um, hand, so you've sorry. got the three different colours, brand new, 30 grams of each. Now you're using point one of a gram. Point one of a, yes. To make a colour. So you've got loads so, here. Yeah. This is going to last for uh, 30 grams and you of each one so 90 grams in total and you use 0.1 of a gram and then you mix it with 0.9 of your resin that's what i did so you yeah. mix it together to give you an overall gram that, that's nothing it's absolutely nothing so 0.1 of a gram of each one whichever one you want to use make them separately you can add them together do whatever you want but these have to be 0.1 of a gram and then you use your resin, which uses 0.9 to give you an overall one wow. gram. But it's different when you're mixing it with um, for just the clear. If it's just the clear, it's 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 um, if if you wanted to do one gram of um, if you did one gram of resin, you would mm -hmm. use half a gram of the hardener. So half a gram of so. hardener, one gram of yeah. the resin to do just a clear one. Yeah. But don't worry, we'll put the information up there for you again if you get stuck. Yeah. All right. Okay. So I hope I haven't confused you with my terrible grasp of maths. You haven't, no it's not at all. Well it's when you've got numbers and you're trying to mix in everything you're doing. So this is your necklace, the finished necklace. Here is the bracelet and the earrings. Now this isn't the only set that you use, uh, that you use the resin for is it? Because no. there's a little bit of a, a funky vibe going on <laughs> with this. This is pure just one colour isn't it? Or well it's yet yeah, uh, one or two is a little bit mixing, but it's not as mixed as the, no, um, the make, links. I've tried to make sure that there's some in there of the whole colour. That is completely just a single colour because that's one of our new resin moulds. I have to say, it's my favourite. I love it. I love that. What mold. we're talking about is the bangle. <laughs> it's summer. Oh my gosh. There's a particular shop that's known to be top. Um, and they do sort of quite popular, bright, vibrant colours. And this is something I can imagine a lot of the teenagers wearing for really? this summertime, festival time. Absolutely. Party time. Oh, yeah. 100%. Um, Remember, I went in there, I was trying to be hip, and I bought a T-shirt that colour. I couldn't pull it off, Fantastic. Though. Pulled it off, like, <laughs> one day that I went and hold, and then I was like, oh, I can't pull this off. But all the, te all the teenagers were all with their bright, luminous colours. That festival. And... This is some really random, but in Stratford upon Avon at the weekend, they had um, the colour run, oh, where people yes. run and like you throw paint at them, and it's these sort of bright, vibrant colours. <laughs> these are these are really, really in. These are gorgeous. and this one, this is almost, almost well, it's the exact same, but it's almost like an adult version, like yeah. calming it down well, if and, you're not ready for the pop. It's the same mix, but what I've done is I've I've done a clear, then I've set the pink, then I set. 
the blue or cured the pink, then I've, when that's fully cured, then I've gone on and done a blue layer, fully cured that, then a green layer, and then finished off again with a little bit of clear. So when you say cure, you just mean leave it? Leave it, right. Leave it okay. set. Just check it. And then... And this is my favourite, because <laughs> it matches my dress. <laughs> that's an Ali special. <laughs> How gorgeous! Too hot. Right, we're going to do the resin moulds for you now, so you can make these. So the resin moulds clearly has a heart. What yes. else have the moulds got? Is that... We've got... I can't decide if that's a cat or like a tulip. It's a, it's a tulip. Is it a tulip? Oh yeah, because yeah, a cat got, doesn't have a spike um, in the middle of its head, does it? <laughs> Not I, saw, <laughs> Not I, saw, <laughs> I saw it from an angle, I just saw it too, I didn't see the third one. I don't say we could file it out, but... <laughs> um, well, yes. people like cat designs, they I do. don't know, I've had, I've had everything under the sun, <laughs> I have. I've had whales, so it wouldn't be a surprise to me. Um, butterflies. And a daisy, I think, in that one as well. Stars and a daisy. Where is the daisy? Oh, there it is, there. Up at the top. <laughs> I'm loving it. I love that you've got the green in the middle. It's just playing, I love playing with colour. And I just think, how, you know, have fun with these things. So do you see the swirly bits on the surface? Is that just from me playing with it? No, I've gone over that with um, an awl and just ah. scored into it because I just wanted a little bit of texture. Yeah. That's quite cool because petals aren't always just flat. No. Petals have got that movement, no. haven't they? That's lovely. Because then there's the heart on its own. Oh, it's a green heart. It's a boy heart. <laughs> My blue heart is green going on. It's like a Halloween heart. Yeah, I'm starting. Starting. Yeah, you're getting Halloween. into the you're getting into the way of it, aren't you? Alison's got oh, a Halloween yes. com show coming for you. Um, an early Halloween show, so you can make the designs for Halloween, um, and which I is going to be. Next, and uh, you have what? You've already. <laughs> She's away, she is. She's off. Stick to today. Halloween. Mm. No, not yet. Not no, yet. No, no. I'm going to watch the no. Halloween show from home in Scotland. I'm all excited. It's next Friday. Um, no, oh, two weeks Friday. I think Alison's. I think Alison's doing some next week, and then I'm doing some the week after. Sorry, they're talking to me, and I'm like, I don't know where these moulds are. <laughs> they're here. <laughs> So, um, yes, yourself and Alison are going to have a, a great day on that day. That will be yeah. Friday the 17th of, um, of this month. Right, I'll just hold them up because otherwise that's a bit pointless, isn't it? Can you see through them? I put my hands at the back. Does I, I don't know how that's going to look. I don't I have no idea. Are we dropping the price on these? I don't need to put my... Oh, maybe. All right. <laughs> so we've got the stars. Three different sizes of stars. And, oh, it's got a double heart. It's I thought you made heart. that double no, heart. No, it's got a double heart in it. Oh, awesome. And it's, the, it's lovely because they're actually at different levels as well. So I, I put the blue in first and got, and got that cured. And then I popped the pink on top. Oh, yeah, because that's deeper. Yeah. That one's slightly deeper in the heart. And then that one's not as deep. Yeah. Ah. And can I can I just say something about these moulds, Ali? Yes, you can. These, <laughs> <laughs> these bangle moulds. I was talking to some ladies in the workshop um, on Tuesday because our other um, bangle moulds that we'd had on are a much smaller um, size. Size. These, I've, I've put them on the bracelet board and they're just over seven and a half, to, uh, uh, just over seven and three quarter inches. So they really are good. And I've got quite a broad hand and I can absolutely get that on really, really easily. So inside diameter is seven inches on the, this one. Sorry, so, um, centimetres. I'm saying inches and it's, it's, oh, it's, it's centimetres. Seven yeah. centimetres. I did this the other day on James TV. I said a pendant was 20 centimetres because we always work in <laughs> centimetres on jewellery maker. They were like, Ali, you know, I was like, oh, it's not that big. It's, it was <laughs> millimetres. But because we're so often working in <clears> centimetres, I got it completely wrong. And the outside diameter, I'll just measure this for you so you can see in um, millimetres. No, centimetres. I was right the first time. Uh, it's just over. Can you see that there? It's nine, just over nine for the outside diameter. So inside diameter is seven, and inside is nine. And then the other one, I'll just quickly measure for you. Yeah. One, which is the one that you layered up. Yep. And then this one, you're looking at inside diameter. 
Seven and a, oh, about, so I'm trying to look from upside down. It's about seven and a half for the inside diameter. Oh, come back, you. Yeah, about seven and a half and just about eight. So what you were saying, seven yes, and a half for the inside half diameter. Way, it's yeah. nice to see, although I didn't do a very good job, but I tried. <laughs> and that one was created, I just mixed up three even, I think that I did um, three grams in a total weight of, uh, so you, you know, we can work that each. one out, yep. but total weight of three grams of blue, pink and green. green. And then when they were ready, I worked really quickly and I poured the blue, poured the pink, poured the green and then let it do its own thing. That's so cool. Oh, we love these. So the mould, <laughs> are the moulds only seven ninety five. That is fantastic. For all of them. Fantastic value. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight different shapes plus the two bangle mode. Are these not separate? The bangle mode do you get as well? Well, that's just how to give away mould, isn't it? No wonder we have never any left. That is a really, really, really fantastic value. Did package. you think it was going to that price? I've seen those individually at up to 450 a mould. And the best thing is, you can use them again. And again. And again and again? Mm -hmm. Oh mm -hmm. my <laughs> gosh, right, brilliant. I've absolutely loved this, Thank Fiona. Thank you. Um, I'm sure you have too. We're going to have a really short break, so you can give us a wee call for that or anything you've seen. If you don't remember what the code was, you don't remember what it is, if you if you speak to the call centre, they are cracking. They'll be able to help you. They're really, really good. And it's free. So 0800 644 And they want someone to talk to. They're in on a Sunday. So give them a call. Um, they're brilliant. And uh, Fiona and I will see you on the other side of this. And I'll give you your strand for your challenge. Thank you. See you in a sec. <laughs> The Jewellery Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewellerymaker.com or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, The Genuine Gemstone Company, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moons Moat, Redditch, B989HF. Get making and good luck. Thank you to all of our customers who voted for Jewelry Maker to be nominated at the Make and Sell Jewelry Awards. We've been nominated for eight awards. Please continue to vote for us to win by going to the Make and Sell Jewelry Awards website and registering your vote. Voting closes on the 27th of November. Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. The four most common details considered in the industry when securing a quality gemstone are described as the four C's. The first C we look for is colour. The colour of a gemstone refers to the hue, tone and more importantly, the even saturation of colour within the gemstone. This can make the difference between a poor stone and a highly exquisite gem, being highly sought after by collectors worldwide. Secondly, we look for clarity. Almost all gemstones can contain some type of inclusions formed during crystallisation. Some gemstones, for example emerald, are acceptable with inclusions, whilst others are graded on how clean they are. Then we look for carat. Gemstones are always measured in carat weight when cut, and commonly in grams as rough. Additionally, there are 100 points in every carat, so every point counts. And last, but definitely not least, we come to cut. The cut is the most misunderstood and underestimated of the four scenes, as the direct manipulation of the gemstone's facets by the lapidrist. Many factors are involved here, including the vision, experience and expertise of the lapidrist. If accomplished perfectly, a truly exquisite gemstone can be crafted into a work of art. Just tuned in. I'm Ali Devoy. It's good to see you. Um, I've just had the fabulous Fiona Potter with me for the past couple of hours. I know you've only managed to see her for. Is it quarter to three already? I can't believe it. 
<laughs> my gosh, this is the fastest Sunday ever. This is my day off. I couldn't spend it better than hanging out with you. This is oh, awesome. Thank you. I'm not even meant to be in today. Everyone's like, Ali, it's your day off. I'm like, yeah, I know. It's awesome. Um, <laughs> This is something that we didn't manage to fit in earlier, but Alison already had it. I think it's calling Alison of my own name. <laughs> um, Fiona um, already had hers on. I didn't put it on, and the reason I didn't put it on was because, well, one, I didn't think I was going to have the luxury of joining in. And then one, when I did realise I could join in, um, I, as you can see, possibly, haven't put a colour on my nails today. And because this has got a slight colour to it, I thought it's going to look like I've got really grubby nails. So um, I don't know if you can see there, it's got a slight colour to it. So that's the reason why I didn't put it on. But um, we might bring that later if you require to offer a wee message um, for the barrier cream. If you don't really have any, um, we can help you with that. So don't worry, I know you, you might have heard us talk about it and thought, where do I get that from? I have three carats of faceted oval drops, six by four millimeter. Um, and I'm gonna find them. Behind the T-bar. Oh! Oh! The coll The collection. I believe I launched this collection for you. Um, with the, I actually had the moulds, the ring moulds to go with it. They're six by four millimetre in size. Would you fancy a completely natural garnet solitaire? Yeah? Yeah? I've got it for you. Oh yeah. Would you fancy a completely natural amethyst? Oh yeah. A completely natural Rachnikiri Zircon. Don't worry if you don't know what it is, it's that amazing sparkling blue one. A Swiss blue topaz. But how about I give you a Russian appetite? Suit you? And finishing off, yes, that is correct. What you are seeing there is completely genuine. A natural emerald. I did kind of know that, Pete. Did you not see me pick it up? No. Did you hear all that noise? That was Pete lifting up all my paper, putting it down, picking up that, putting it down, just to find this, which I had in my hand. <laughs> and it rolled across the table a minute ago. Did you not hear it rolling and see it? And then I m picked it up and moved it out of shot. <laughs> it's my little gadget for picking up loose gems. It's not actually mine, it's the claw. You know when you go to, um, have you ever been on a holiday? I used to go to a place called Millport. Uh, and when you went to Millport, you got a ferry over to Millport, then you get your bicycle and you cycle around it and then you just come back. You maybe have some fish and chips and then you go home. Well, Millport um, has a little, uh, a fun machine where you put money in the slot and it picks up the teddies and it pushes the coins off the edge. You know, one of those things. So it's like a claw that picks up the teddies is what this is. But it's not picking up teddies, it's picking up incredible genuine gems. Let's get it on. Come out here, right. Oh, oh, hello. Right, this is um, this is your cognac zircon. It, it is, yeah, Ratnakuri cognac. Ratnakuri is a province in Cambodia where your zircons were sort of pretty much first found. This is amazing. I might even not show you this first, you know. No, I'm going to show it to you first. Have you heard of champagne diamonds? They're incredibly popular. Put it this way, I had nine champagne diamond rings yesterday on a such a channel at £799 per ring, three carats. They sold out at 10 a.m. on a Saturday morning with me. That's how popular champagne diamonds are. Now, these aren't diamonds, but Zircon ah, gives you everything that you look for in a diamond. Have a look at this. This is a champagne Zircon. I don't know if you can see it very well. It's gorgeous. If I put it, maybe if I put it, I'm going to take it out of here. Is this wise? I'm just going to put it on the back of my finger so you can get an idea. This, because of the depth of colour, if I just move that to the side, you might see a little bit better. Can you see the fire? It's a double refractive gem. They're gorgeous. This is a natural, I believe. Have you got any information? I presume it's a natural cognac zircon. They're all completely natural. I thought they would be, but then I just wanted to check. Completely natural cognac zircon. Amazing. 6.4 mil, they're all the same size. You can set them into a ring at any point, but you do not need to. Um, you could just keep them as a collector's um, piece. Um, I'm just gonna pop it in here for you. So they all get their own individual presentation boxes. A natural emerald. How many people in the world own a natural emerald? 
Now, I don't have any carrot weights for you. Um, but it's a combined carrot weight, so I can't... Um, obviously, different gemstones have different... In fact, I'm just going to put this on my hand. I don't think this tool allows you to see them very well. It's allowing me to pick them up, but it's not allowing me to show off so well. This is your natural emerald. I'm presuming it's possibly Zambian, just by its colour. Oh, it's gone now. So I'll just keep that. No, I'm joking. Uh, fasted calibrated as a 6 by 4 mil. Now, when I launched these, we had the... Um, I believe we launched the moulds at the same time. I don't know if there are any left on the website, but you can always find out. So that's your natural emerald. You are about to own May's Bristone, a natural emerald. The price point on this is, is ridiculous. I'm just going to put this one away for you and bring you the next one. I love it. I'm just bringing you the next natural gemstone in your collection. I'm just going to quickly open up all the pots, because if I do that, you can, um, I can go a little bit quicker once I've taken it off. Manager of the floor, Pete. Where are you? Where is he? Why didn't he open these? Pete! Pete! He's off, he's hiding. Oh, it's too late now, Pete. I've opened them all. About ten minutes later, I've opened them all, Pete. Nice for you to show up. Floor manager, Pete. Manager of the floor. Right, completely, oh no, this is where this channel needs a, a jewellery cloth because we don't usually have a jewellery cloth on Jewellery Maker because we don't usually have this calibre of gemstones on a daily basis. Usually it's our sister channel, Gems TV or Rocks TV that have that. This is a, a genuine amethyst for you. There is a genuine blue zircon. This is gorgeous. This reminds me of Pariba Tourmaline. Here's a, sw oopsie. Here's a Swiss blue topaz. Forgive, forgive my fingerprints. And wait till you see Rajasthan Garnet. Rajasthan Garnet. Very similar indeed to your Cognac Zircon. I'm going to pop that one in there and I'm going to put your emerald in between. So you get all of them. Cognac Zircon I adore. Um, Swiss Blue Topaz I adore. Blue Zircon from the Ratnakuri province, the original location. Forgive my fingerprints, but just I wanted to show you them all. They're gorgeous. They are natural, they're mesmerising. To say you own a natural emerald is one thing. To say you own a natural emerald, what price point would you put on that? You can't put all of them at that price though, surely. You can't... I'll put, I love that. I'll pop it in. I'll pop in $17.95 for six of the world's most collectible gems. Why not? They're all natural. Might as well just give them away. Um. Why not? Oh, forgive me, I've um, shimmied your blue off, but I'll put it back in place. Come back, come back. So you have all of them. That should, just so you're aware, I'm just going to use the tweezers to get it a little bit clearer. That one there is your um, cognac. Um, no, it's not. That's your uh, zircon. I'm looking at it from upside down. So that's your Ratnakuri zircon of the blue. That one there for you. It's your amethyst, deep, dark, rich, and intense. Sky blue topaz, well, it actually looks more of a sky blue, but it's actually a Swiss blue topaz. Um, you've got your Rajasthan garnet there. You've got yourself your natural emerald, I'm presuming a Zambian by its color. Um, and then you've got your cognac zircon on the end, Ratnakuri cognac zircon. So they're all six by four mil. You get your cognac zircon, your emeralds, your garnets, your genuine Swiss blues, your topaz, next month's Bristol actually. Uh, you've got January's Bristol in here, your May's Bristol for the Emeralds and you've got yourself your February's Bristol with your Amethyst but the best bit on either end December's Bristol. Zircon. Two totally different looks for your Zircon. Full of fire. They're bifringent, which means they're doubly refractive, which means when the light comes into these, it breaks and it's, it displays twice, um, as opposed to once, which is what you get in um, a single refractive gem, such as a diamond. Well, I was thinking, compared to diamond, but I can get a clearer zircon um, and a bigger size compared to what I could get mon for my money for a diamond. Yet, zircon, if you put all the world zircon together, and made it as commercialised as diamonds, how long do you think it would last? It's thought to be a year. 
for all the world's zircon. That's crazy, right? Probably why I didn't decide to commercialize that and decided to commercialize dark. Mm. Did you watch that TV show where they put all the diamonds or they went in a, um, they went in a big boat and they opened the bottom of the boat and they scooped up all the diamonds from the bottom of the sea and put them in sardine tins? Doesn't make diamonds seem as rare then, does it? Yeah. One of the jeweler's stores. Yeah, jeweler's show. Mm. But if you do want, actually in saying that, if you do want rare diamonds, I had a rare pink champagne diamond the other day, natural from the Argyle mine in Australia. They were gorgeous. Got a few of those on our sister channel, not many. Um, how nice is this, Pete? That I've just got him, but he's not even here. Where is Pete? Oh, there he is, he's behind the camera. I'm putting them all back in their tubs for you, Pete. Is that nice of me? Is that really nice of me? Right, I'm gonna bring you a challenge stand um, for our lovely Fiona. No, I'm not gonna put them all in. Oh, actually, no, I am don't want them going anywhere. If you manage to get those, congratulations. You can set them at any point. You can just get them as a collector connoisseur and then decide what you want to do. This natural fire opal. Oh, is it Mexican? <gasps> mm -hmm. You're price dropping, are you? I love that. I'm going to price drop this one. We are aware of the rarity and collectability of natural fire opals from Mexico, actually known as the, the Mexican fire, or the Mexican gem, should I say. Mmm, the Mexican opal, a lot of people know it as. You're not wrong to know it as either. Although we have been bringing you some purple opals from Mexico, so therefore um, I don't want anyone to get confuzzled. Now you get the most vibrant oranges, golds and yellows dreamy hues um, and if you've ever heard of the strelitzia I can actually remember the name of it now the strelitzia the flower have you ever heard of that before it's the flower after the the bird of paradise have you ever heard of the gem of the bird of paradise that's what this is known as so the strelitzia is a, a flower that looks like a bird the bird of paradise you pop it into one of your search engines you'll see exactly what I'm talking about and what you want to get is that gorgeous yellow to an orange and to a red and that's what the flower, um, colour of the flower is. Have you found it? Are you not looking? No, it won't be on that. You have to look on the internet as if we would have that pre-ready on the server. Don't be silly, Ben. It's not as if we've talked about Strelitzias for 10 years or anything. It won't. That would make my, love, my life wonderful if that was on there. No. And if you put it into one of the search engines, if you just type in the bird of the, the bird of paradise, it will pop up. I think. It's but it's um, what you're wanting to look for. Is that gorgeous orange, those stunning reds and golden yellows? Have you found it? It's the flower of the bird of paradise, not just the bird of paradise. I love that. Oh yeah, I found it. That's what this gem, so it's just supposed to be the gem of the bird of paradise because you get the golden yellows, the oranges, and then the reds. Oh, I love this. I see now. Now I see. Um, do you know what I'm talking about, Fiona? Doesn't matter if you don't. I'm usually in my own wee world anyway. Kind of do, yeah. <laughs> a little bit. It's a really expensive flower. If you want to buy that flower on its own, it's about twenty-five pounds for just one. I've, yes, the picture of it's just come into my head. I Has do it? know what you're talking about. They're yeah. gorgeous. They're beautiful. Beautiful flowers. But like you say, massively expensive. But yeah, the colours. Oh. Well, that's what you want in your are really those, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So if you've ever heard anyone talk about the gem of the bird of paradise, they're talking about a Mexican opal. And this is a natural one. So no treatments whatsoever. Now, the best thing you could possibly do is add this to your opals from earlier. The nuggets. Have you got them? I don't know where they are. I presume they've been tidied away already. But if I want to put carnelian with it, can you see how well that would work? And if you want to be Alison's challenge, if, why do I keep calling you Alison? Fiona's challenge strand. Was Alison on this morning? She, oh, she, I know she was on this morning. Maybe that's what it was. <laughs> Please forgive me. It's because I've it's cause I worked eight hours presenting yesterday. My head went to pot and then I've not had much sleep, so forgive me. I was too excited. I couldn't sleep. Um, oh. Oh. 
Oh my gosh, I'm in love. <gasps> humana, humana. Mmm. <laughs> oh yes, all of this together. Now this is going to be putting the. <laughs> I don't mind being confused with the amazingly talented Alison Terry at all. <laughs> Why am I doing that? Why is that? I think, you know, when you say once and you say, don't, that's the wrong name, yeah. don't say Alice, don't say Alice. Maybe it's Alice. because of something you know that's going to be happening in the future. Maybe. That's because you and Alison are working together, but still. Sometime. Mm. You, I love how you're just yeah. trying to dig me out of this hole. <laughs> I was all right all morning, and then all of a sudden, it hits three o'clock, and I, I can't start it out. I think we should just put the price on. In fact, I think we should just take the price down and then that way we can get out of this. And I'll, I'll, um, I'll you'll forget what I've been saying and then you'll, <laughs> you'll work out. But don't forget the whole fire opal thing. Um, but you'll, then you'll think, you'll just be mesmerized by the price. 12.95. I don't believe our sister channel will have one piece of jewelry for 12.95 fire opal wise. Not even in a sale. Not even on our birthday week, which is this week. It's our 10th birthday this week, on Wednesday. I've, uh, our sister channel's been working for 10 years. Mm -hmm. um, look at, Glenn's like, does that mean I've been here for 10 years? <laughs> yes, it does, Glenn, because you were here before me. On and off. On and off, still 10 years. <laughs> it's been nine years since we met, Glenn. Nine years, can you believe that? I don't think either has changed. I was a teenager. <laughs> yep. Well, I was 20. Mm-hmm. 12.95. Love it. I can't believe you've got it for 12. Was it supposed to be 17.95? Why did you drop the price? It's not the late show. What's the reason? Yeah, I know you're giving five pound back, but why? I love that. If you put your voice up high and sound sweet, it doesn't make it all right. Because it's a Sunday. Oh, still, still not really supposed to happen, though, is it? It's not really what you're supposed to do. Um, you've already dropped the price on the opals to basically give all of it for a five pounds. So now you're saving another five pounds. I don't. You're a little bit naughty, Helen. I don't think this should be a. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna ask her to change it. Um, don't worry. I'm really pleased that you're getting this great deal. I just don't want to be renowned for the person who drops the prices to the lowest on everything, because that's what I was renowned for on her sister channel, and I'm getting that reputation on the late shift. I don't want to get that reputation on the design inspiration as well. I want to pretend that I'm not gonna be naughty all day every day. Just ooh, this all goes together. This is from Alison Sick. <laughs> Fiona second design inspiration. <laughs> What's wrong with me? I'm so sorry, Fiona. I wasn't doing it earlier though. Why am I why am I starting doing that? I've put my spade away to dig you out now, so you're on your own. <laughs> I'm patting myself in, I'm like going further down. Oh, these go really well for Fiona's. <laughs> Do you know what it is? I've got an ulcer that's really random here, and to say it's harder than to say ah, I think that's what it is. Mm. <laughs> Didn't yeah. know, did it? No. <laughs> oh. Not buying yeah. it. No. <laughs> <laughs> it does really hurt though, it's like the worst place ever. <laughs> um, it's where your lip joins your face. Sore. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the lip face joint. <laughs> Would you like these? <laughs> I'd love them. Thank you, Ali. I can't move. I have to stay here. I'm really me sorry. Fiona. <laughs> me, 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 not Fiona. You, Fiona. <laughs> I'm just going to call you Potter for the rest That's of the day. That's fine. I'll answer to Potter. No, you won't. You answer to your actual name. I'll just get it right. <sighs> right. <laughs> Maroon culture potato pearls. Ooh! Now, I have it right. I'm not entirely happy about this because I'm a happy person, don't get me wrong. I, I know I don't, um, I've said I'm not happy a couple of times today, but that's because these, I don't think, are, are, are potato pearls. Because they're pretty, pretty round to me. 
They're actually more of a roval than an oval. And an oval is what you look for in a potato pearl because it's... It is, do you know what it is? It's not a potato pearl because a potato pearl should have more than a millimetre of difference between the two, in my opinion. This has only got one millimetre, so between a round and an oval, it's a roval. That is a technical term. I've not just made that word up. I thought I had made it up, and then Glenn Lair said, no, 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 Ali, that, that is a real thing. That was quite a few years ago. So... Now, at the time when I first used it, I just presumed roval made sense to me because it wasn't a round and it wasn't an oval, it was in between, so roval. I thought I'd come up with it, but actually someone else did. Oh. But it was real. Um, they're pretty perfect. I don't, I don't ever like to call any pearls potato because, well, that's not what I would find in my garden, isn't it? In my veg patch. These are lush. They would look great with the, the fire opal that I've just given Fiona. Only took me how many attempts? <laughs> What's wrong with me? Don't worry, I will go home and beat myself up about it when I get home. Do you like these together? Are you feeling Moroccan? Yeah, they're very spicy colours, aren't they? Mmm. Spice. Oh, yeah, I like that I together. Those. I wouldn't have normally put that together, to be fair. I just picked them all up because they were all in the tea bar, the tea bar. But they work, don't they? They really do work together. Wire-wise, only because you've got gold in your hand, I'm thinking, would you put gold with it? What colour wire would you use? Or copper? What would work? I think I probably would go gold. I think copper might tone in too much with it. Yeah. Gold so I think lovely, I probably would go gold or antique bronze. I think antique bronze would look really lovely. Okay. Mm. Antique bronze, gold, that's a, a, neat, a nice idea. We've not brought you either the carnelian or the, um, the imperial topaz as yet. I can't believe we've got imperial topaz. That's ridiculously rare. Don't worry if you haven't heard of imperial topaz. I'll tell you all about it. It's so rare. It's uncanny. Um, these I showed earlier with these and said they would look gorgeous together with these. You can't match the price. No. What? I thought you weren't allowed to do 6 95 on the day show. What are you up to? You cheeky chat. I know it's the lowest we can go. That sort of implement was put in place when I moved to the late show. All of a sudden, we got this rule sent out that, Ali, you're not allowed to go under 6 95 for any strand of gemstone. I think I was going a little bit too low on my vault clearing mission of the late show. Whoops. But uh, 6 95 should not be the price of pearls. The garnets are divine. They're coming up for you. These pearls we've already done. Are there any of them left? The pink. They've sold out. I'll take them away. They would all work deal them maliciously. These maroon. They're love. They've got lush purples glowing from them. They're really quite stunning indeed. I want to put them with these that are coming up. Mm, there's an idea. They're quite festive in their look as well. We had festive green pearls the other day. They were actually called festive green. I changed the name of them. <laughs> I no, I actually did, because they were just green, and I didn't do them justice, so I called them festive green. Um, and they would work fabulously with those. They have like little berries. Yeah? Um, do call me on these ones. These are at, at being allocated quite quickly. Very fabulous in their size and their shape indeed. Something like white moonstone would just be divine with that. Uh, I'm going to bring you your next design inspiration. Fiona's design inspiration. <laughs> That's the name. Don't wear it out. Um, Fiona's. Um, <laughs> she's on the seat. That just keeps sinking. I sat on this seat last night. You sit on it and you just get lower no. and lower and lower. And then you push it back up and then you sit down and it just goes lower and lower and lower. I love it. Her face is like on the table. I can't even get on it now. Oh, don't put the camera on me, please. The camera's not on you. Don't worry. Oh, there. I'm on. It might stay for a minute, but... If we do lose Fiona over the next few moments, it's because the chair has a mind of its own and it just decides. I don't know whether it's one of these ones that pumps up and then the minute you sit on it, it just decides to go. 
really and it just goes down. Well, we can see you now. <laughs> Yay, <laughs> she's it's back. Going down and down. That happened to me the other day. Oh, don't lean back. No, I'm being no, serious. So. The other day, I leaned back to see what was in the drawer. I was sitting like this for about five <laughs> minutes because the back just goes like parallel. It just goes completely flat. Anyway, um, let's bring you. I am a stranger to falling off chairs, actually. Stools, I'm very well, well, well renowned for that. But chairs, I've never fallen off a chair as yet. <laughs> Touch wood. But yes, thank you, Ollie. How could I tell that was you in my ear there? These, right, three strands for us. Brand new carnelian rounds. Now, we don't often get carnelian rounds like these, do we? Usually they're dyed agates. Mm. Quite good to get a, a, carne a true carnelian. Absolutely. They're lovely colours in them. They're quite fruity, aren't they? <coughs> Summer fruit. Fruit sorbet, I'm thinking. Mmm. Mmm. They're almost citrusy, aren't they? Yeah, very much so. 10 millimetre for you in size for each one, plain rounds. And carrot weight on these, 260 carats of carnelian. Adding to that, very luscious for these, aren't they? Black, a dyed agate, and they are 6 mil in size, 36 centimetre strand, 95 carats of your agate. And then here we have those, whoa, I do fancy that. Shell pearl, copper shell pearl, plain rounds of 6 mil. So both 6 mil for your two strands of agate and shell pearl. Lovely. It, got, it says copper, but it's quite bronzy in its tone. So it's actually, if I was to, if I just looked at that without knowing that it was called copper, I would call that champagne. I think it's more of a champagne. It is, it is almost a champagne-y kind of colour, isn't it? You're thinking whiskey champagne? Pretty much alcohol, mm. really. And you just, well, <laughs> bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very good with my alcohols, although I did go to distillery as a girl guide on her trip. Yeah. Sort of malt whiskey-ish, isn't it? Malt whiskey. We'll, mm. stay. we'll go with that. I love your eyes lighting <laughs> up. Mm, we've lost her. She's gone. Fiona has gone. I'm mm. not under the table yet. Mm? <laughs> not under the table yet. <laughs> not yet. In the drawer still. We've not managed to get it out of the drawer and into the, under the table, but we'll get there. That's why she keeps going. That's why she's going lower. She's trying to get under the table for her whiskey. <laughs> No drinking on a show on a Sunday. <laughs> Late nights normally, yes, but not on a Sunday. <laughs> right, we've got these big wire. Oh, hello there. Come on, come on. So, we've got both of these. These are actually copper-plated copper. Mmm. Um, so, you get two of these. Raw, oh, no, sorry. These are raw copper. It's the... Um, it's the... Uh, blanks that are coming up that are copper plated copper these are raw copper and the wire is 0.4 mil and 1 mil in your gauge so you've got 10 meters there of each the 0.4 you get 10 meters um, and also a um, one millimeter gauge you get 10 meters of two so that's raw copper plus here's your blanks that are copper plated copper now you get hearts and you get squares Copper plated copper, heart stamping blank of 35 millimetre. You get five of these, and you're looking at a 20 millimetre for you in your square, and you get five of these as well. Plus, you've got yourself your liver of sulphur extended life gel. You've got um, 29 millilitres of this. And what you've got here is. Um, the patina to finish your silver, copper, bronze, brass, metal leaf and me metal clay. Sorry, there's me trying to read it for you. And then that's, oh, you don't know where the little bottle is. That's because I was saving it for last, because I'm not going to lie, it's my favourite thing of the whole day. <laughs> Look at this. It's so cute. Isn't it gorgeous? Your glass bottle with your cork stopper. I love it. I love it. You can use it, um, obviously, in Alison's design, but you can use it in your <laughs> steampunk as well. Let me see if I can find... Oh, it's not in the steampunk. I saw a steampunk piece with it lots so long ago. 
Oops. So, would you love to, you, you see when you see what has been made with this, oh my gosh, my friend from Rocks TV actually, one of my dearest friends, Rosie came down, to, um, Fiona got to meet um, Rosie, cause she, I don't think you met before, I had you? I met before, no. Um, Rosie is, uh, I love her, and um, she came down and she couldn't take an eyes off that necklace, that, well, well, one of the necklaces that we're going to see, which is the one that incorporates this, um, the bottle and the cork. Love, love, love this. All of it, for what price do you reckon? Thirty-three fifty-five should be. Now these are real carnelians, real genuine agates, genuine real shell pearl, plus your finishing patina, as well as your ten planks, five of each, five hearts, and then five of your squares. Your twenty meters of raw copper for twenty-four ninety-five. Now, we were talking about this earlier. We don't often do raw copper, do we? No. And I love working with raw copper. Do you? Love it. How so? Well, well why do you love it so much? I think because it's really organic and you can get such different things, di different colour tones with it. Um, you can make it go with different things, different kinds of stones. You can get lots of different looks out of it. And then when you introduce the patina, mm. it makes it even... Um, even more Hiya. interesting. Hi. Oh, I'm still <laughs> high. I'm still up at the moment. But we'll see how long this lasts. Uh, no. Oh, no, it's going. It's going. <laughs> how are you going to see? <laughs> I think we'll stand up. <laughs> this yes, chair is we'll rubbish. Lose, we'll lose the chair. We'll lose the chair. It's gone. <laughs> Sorry for that squeak. I didn't realise it was going to make such a noise there. Right, it's like one of those things where you're left and you just slowly go down, isn't it? Right. Oh, I'm excited. Can I show you what if you want to make? Can yes, I show everyone? Yes, you can. That was brilliant. I love that. <laughs> um, should we, right, what, I don't know what one to start with. What do you want to show first? Um, should we start from here? Start from the, yeah. Okay, we'll move right. around. So we've got these <laughs> fabulous earrings. Oh, I love this at the top. Oh. Is that really difficult to do? No. Oh, I like that. I need to no. learn how to make that. <laughs> um, then you've got... So you've incorporated the carnelian and the agates in here. Yep. Um, your square from the stamp and your wire and one of your um, shell pearls. Yep. Simple, that one is. The bracelet... Yeah. <laughs> um, the bracelet, you've incorporated your heart with some stamping. What does your heart say? Do you remember when? If I turn it around. I love this. So you've used just the wire. Some extra bead. Uh, so, oh no, that's the same wire from the kit, isn't it? Yes, it's the all bundle, this, everything, everything's from the bundle. So it's a 0.4 and the 1 mil gauge. And the wire, even though it looks a different colour, we'll get to that. Um, and then the heart, and then. <laughs> the piece de resistance, these are fabulous, but hama hama look <laughs> at here. What a fabulous, fabulous piece now, Alison. Uh, Fiona! <laughs> <sighs> What's wrong with me? Um, please, please talk us through this because when you told me um, the reasoning behind <clears throat> this, it made me love it even more. As if it wasn't gorgeous enough without a reason. Well, basically, um, when we, we go camping and we go to different places. We've been to Greece this year and we've camped. We do go away for days and things like that. And wherever I go, you always find something. If you beach comb and you pick something up. And I've got little boxes all over the place or little, little pots with an odd shell or... You know, whatever you pick up, and I keep, I tend to keep receipts and travel tickets and things like that. And everybody's used to seeing me do um, my memory jewelry by putting them, putting resin into bezels or um, little tiles or something like that. And I thought, actually, I, I want to do something really different with this, and not just have the memories there, but just take little pi bits of them that are going to make me remember something else. I know it's a jewelry maker, but it's still, it's my, it's me You're that's gone into maker. it. It's, it's, yeah. So it gives you ideas and inspirations for yours. So the first part, I'm gonna, if I do it from right to left, your left to right, um, we've got here. That is the super moon that was in August, taken from our bedroom window. My husband took that for me. So that's a picture. You've managed to create into wire yeah. and set it. Yeah. And allow it to have the reflection you would expect in a picture frame. Yes. 
We then have, if I move down, to one of the prettiest shells on one of the square blanks. And that was picked up on um, the beach in Poole um, the first week of September. And then you have your ice cream. That's my ice cream cone. Well, obviously, I couldn't incorporate the ice cream as it is. So I sort of did a, a little cone um, and then put a nice little scoop of um, orange sorbet on top. <laughs> I love a good orange sorbet. Inside here, you have... We have a receipt from one of the restaurants in Greece. Mm -hmm. We have full-size photographs, so obviously the little that you've seen the supermoon, but the uh, photograph of the supermoon is in there. On the other side of the necklace is um, a seagull, um, so I've actually put a copy of the full-size photograph in there. One I did with sepia and one I, is, has just come straight from the camera. Um, and then I found this on the beach, which was a broken, trodden down earring. So I picked that up because obviously it's Greek and it's, it's the Greek keys. Um, so I thought, hmm, we can that incorporate that somehow. And then there's a few of the beads because the beads have gone in there as well. Little beads of inspiration and a little sh another little bit of a shell, I think. Yeah. There's the earring and the beads and the shell. And then you said, do you remember when? Oh, that's the wrong tune, isn't it? I can't remember the tune, but I did have a tune in my mind when I said it. There's your seagull that's that you were seagull. talking about. So your second <laughs> picture. And that was lovely. I mean, those seagulls were there both. We went down to Pool Harbour twice, two nights running, and, and it was the most beautiful still evening on both occasions and they just there was one lying down and one standing looking at it on this boat and not a ripple on the water and you see that's the kind of thing you do that you th and, and straight away looking at the seagull you think about where was the picture taken yeah and then it brings the memory of the holiday back and then you've finished it off just in case you forgot what year it was you've stamped it in there on this side summer I'm sure it says 2014. Summer of 2014. Yeah. I love that. But I've done those quite subtle. I didn't want them to sort of be in your face. That's, no, you I know, love it's just... that. Right, I need to know how to do this. I need this in my life. I'm thinking of all my best friends who are getting married and engaged and I want to make them <coughs> treats like this. This is awesome. <laughs> right, right. It's where to start. Well, I'm, I'm going to start at the beginning, and the beginning thing that I did was, and, and this, this little bit is messy, I'm not going to take you through showing you how the patina works. Um, it's been done, um, I, I know that Gemma's done it in the past, I think Sammy may have done. Um, it, it's very smelly, and there's so many different components to this, I decided rather than mess about with, with too much of the... Uh, patina. Of the patina, I'll just work on the wire. But what I've done... Um, this piece of wire here has come straight out of the patina and I pot it, popped it, dried it, popped it in a bag so that you could see what it's like when it comes out of the patina. And that's one of the coils as well. And I've done these little coils using the, um, the Y cone and then just in a little, a little coil on the end just to finish it off. Um, when you get the patina, just so you know, for anyone who's just tuned in, I'm just going to turn the patina to the back for you so you can see. It gives you all the instructions of how to use it on the back. So don't panic. It does. And it also comes with this very comprehensive sheet. And it is really good. And what I do is I always highlight um, the key bits because ah, okay. I work with so many different things. I can't always remember. I think I've just got one of those metal So I had to clean the metal and the neutralize the patina gel solution. So you get this sheet with it. And you've got within the patina, it gives you directions on the back as well. So yeah. the reason we're not going to go through it is because you might spend all the time going through that and you don't get to see how to make the necklace. So yeah. that we can work out and we can talk you through it if you get stuck anyway, so don't worry. So having, we'll, we'll, we'll speed up, we've done, we've, we've shaped, um, I've twisted this. Now what I've done here is twisted three lengths um, of wire together. And is that the one mil um, gauge? And it's the one mil gauge, so yeah. it, it's given it quite a nice, I mean that, that's it, it's given it quite a nice bit of structure. And then it's gone into the patina. Um, now, what, what you're going to see me doing today, um, if you sort of compare the colour of that to the colour of what the other necklace is, I didn't leave this one in quite as long because what I wanted to show you is you have, don't think that you've got to have the very dark colour. 
the colour, the depth of colour, depends just on how long um, you leave it in the patina. Um, what I also did with the one, the, the, the completed necklace, um, I inadvertently dropped a little bit of, yeah, that's, that's as they come. So I just thought I'd get it for you so you can see what it looks like on its own before you've done anything to it. So that's it plain there, quite bright. And then the, the darker the is having your patina. And if I just pick this piece up, whoops, sorry, that piece there, that was in the first patina that I did, which as you can see, is, it, it, it is actually quite a bit darker. And that would be it nor just when you get out the pack? Yeah. Doesn't seem to co come across in camera work quite so well, but it's quite bright. It is. It's quite, quite, quite different. Quite proper um, without. Um, so, yeah, in the first one, I dropped a little bit of ammonia in with it as well, and it brought Ooh. out these amazing flashes of almost stainless steel. Mm. Um, and you can see, um, again, I don't know whether the camera would actually be able to pick that up very well, but you've got flashes of, in this one, you've got flashes of blues um, and purples oh, and yeah. pinks. And it is quite a lot darker than the others, but it's th th what you can achieve with the patina. And you can see there the pattern on it, that's just done using one of the texture hammers. I am going to do a little piece just so that you can see what I do. Um, but as I say, we won't go on to that. Um, what I am just going to show you then, and, and I can put this away and wipe my hands because this bit is, is quite messy. Okay. So this is, as it's come out of the patina, I've got just a piece of ordinary steel wool and as I'm just, you can see that straight away and depending on how, if I pull that one round, oh, you can yeah. see the differences in colour. Oh, I love that. So that's the piece that I've just done with the steel wool and that's the piece that hasn't been done. But straight away you can see all the depths that that, that the patina has left in all the sort of um, yes. recesses. Yes, sort of seeped into the crevices. It's, it's just lovely. And when you've done that and you've finished it, you would then just need to polish it. And you can do that with something like a Renaissance wax or protector. There's all sorts of different things you can do that with. And depending on how much you pull it back um, with, with the steel wool, will do um, depending on you know what what result you get yeah. now if I also show you with this one and I think this this one um, almost shows it better okay, well, I mean okay, that really the dark, shot. It? now and I'm not putting much pressure on there at all there. so that's it now that is so cool and if I turn it round that was it before so now if I do that side you can see straight away how that's Love going to come it. in and, and it's, it, you decide how on how you much you want to work on it. Can I have a go? Of course you can. I would I'd probably do it over the, over the, the top, top because simply of... because it, the, the steel wall really does make quite a mess. And if you, if you brush <gasps> it in the direction that the... That oh, the, sorry. the, the no, it's okay. I'm just, it's just to say, if you brush it in the direction that the um, coils are going in, um, I, I, I think you just get better results, really. And it, because the steel wool is actually quite soft, it doesn't scratch it, it is just polishing it. I love it. But, and, the, and the reason that we polish it or, or, or put a protective coat on it afterwards um, is to stop the patina carrying on and, and going even darker. <gasps> and I it love just, it. just gives you the most amazing results. Um, what I also did, um, I haven't patinaed these so that you can see the difference. Um, these coils, I did, I've done these just on the bail making place. If I put them in the middle there, um, this is to make my own jump rings so that they would um, really blend nicely with the project. So this, this bigger one here hasn't been patinaed, but the smaller one has. So again, you can see the difference that that makes. It just gives it a completely different dimension. Um, what I also did, I'm just going to pull the block in just so that I can just take you through one or two of these and get the metal blanks out. Which We're going to have um, a hammer and a block somewhere. for you, so don't worry if you haven't got one. Oops. I love this. We'll, we'll bring it in a wee minute. So if I, I'm going to just take you through doing one of the squares and one of the hearts. I'm not going to do the whole lot of stamping, I'm just going to show you how I got the texture around the outside. Awesome. So, um, with the square, now 
I'm going to do it on the anvil because I haven't got my um, metal block in and I can't find one in the drawer. Oh, sorry. Just have it there. Now, um, this one I'm going to use the, um, do you want this? the little... Well, you've got your anvil. I can you? use the anvil. Okay. That's fine to save using it. So I'm going to use the little squares on that and I'm going to just do that on half. And it's, it's not... It's not a huge bang it as much power as you can. You're just trying to gently texture it. What's on the end of your hammer? It's a texturizing so hammer. That is so cool. Have you seen that? Got any texturizing we, hammers? We have had we have had them on in the past. I think Gemma Crow had them on hers on her show. I'm not sure if Sammy may have had them, but I know that Demi did. I love did. them. And this one's got a different pattern, so just so that you can see, you're not getting. I'll just try not to talk over that. You're not getting a complete stripe. Oh, yeah, you're getting... So, on that, there, we've just got those. I love this hammer. And then, to get the hole in. Now, I've, I've done all of these. I've done um, di with a diagonal hole. Um, I've just used the metal punch that we have. Pop that in, get it into position. And these, I mean, these blanks are so easy. That's that done already. So you don't even need to, you don't even need to drill it. Oh, that's brilliant! Oh, is that there? So you can see on there the different um, textures. That's so cool. Okay. So that's that one, and then the heart. I've not used the texture. Oh, well, I, I did use the texture hammer on one of the hearts, but just to get the edge of the heart, I've just used the ball pane hammer and I've used the rounded end and I'm literally just going around the edge and it's, you can hear, I'm tapping, I'm not thwacking, I'm not really giving it an absolutely massive, um, you know, hit. I'm, I don't want to damage it, I just want to pattern it. Um, and what I did on mine, Ooh. I sort of graduated it as well so that I had more going on at the top. Now I'm just going to hold that up because then you can see the difference just by doing that small amount of hammering. There. I'm trying to bring you a hammer. So there's but someone doesn't want me I to. Think get that in. shows it off better. So you can see one side's got the um, the texture and the other side hasn't. Now for doing the um, punching to, to sort of to stamp your letters into it, I do do it on the metal block um, and I. I secure it down with some um, masking tape just to keep it in, into position. There are ways of getting really nice neat letters but I'm going for completely rustic. I just wanted this to be absolutely as it comes. So I, I've re and actually it's quite hard because I'm, I'm not always good at doing random but I've, I've really worked hard at doing random. Really worked hard <laughs> and, and at not, not being... At not <laughs> trying to do it perfectly but trying to keep it rustic. And it's hard for me oh, <laughs> to do no, that. I'm, I'm the same. But I I'm have a little to say, bit, um, I have had a ball doing it, so it, so it was absolutely worth it. Absolutely worth it. Talking about ball, there's a sort of ball end on the end of this hammer, which I've got for you now. Um, ball pin. Ball pain. Pain. Ball pain. Sorry, I'm like, what's no, okay. that? Ball pain hammer. What does that mean when it's at home? I'm Do you know? Well, that's all right. No, I'm going to be honest, and I'm no, not I'm going to gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make. I'm not going to make. You know, make it up and say, "Oh yeah, Alex, it's this." I haven't got a clue. Right. I love it. Just My producer is um, searching to find out. Um, and the steel. I've never seen this type of hammer before. That's why I'm asking. Well, I, that's not true. I've seen it, but I don't know. I've never seen the black. This is black. Is this specialized for metalwork? Is what it means. Can you see Ben on cameras? <laughs> oh no. No, I don't think it's picking you, you up, see, CR. It's picking that, up the beating board. Maybe the other end might pick you up. Yeah. Can you see Ben? No, not even <laughs> slightly. Oh. So it should be 1390. You get the block as well, which is what you've not brought with you. It's quite heavy to be. Why you wouldn't have I just got this, you know, there was so much got your anvil weight anyway, stuff going so. on there. And I thought, well, I can do everything I need to um, just with that. And last time I came, there was one in the drawer, but I can't find it today. So I'm yeah, sure someone's it, probably. I'm sure it's there somewhere. It somewhere. But <laughs> for the hammer and the block together, um, we're doing a double deal for seven ninety five.
For a ha but how many tool shops can you buy a hammer for for seven ninety five? Only know this because not so long ago I went to buy myself a toolkit. Ah. I thought, my girl, I live by myself in my house. I might at some point need a toolkit. Yeah. I you have do. used it. I plumbed my own washing machine, I'll have you know. <laughs> yeah. Only because the people that were um, delivering it said we won't take it away unless you've taken it unplumbed, if you, unless it's unplumbed. Half an hour before they were coming, Wow. Oh, my dad in Scotland. I was like, Dad, I need to un disconnect this washing machine and they won't take it away and they're not going to fit it. And he was like, well, this is what you do, love. So <laughs> over the phone, my dad put my dungarees on and whipped out my washing machine, pulled it out and then plumbed my new one. And I've not flooded my house yet. That's fantastic. Where I wouldn't I wouldn't know. I would just give it to my husband and leave it to my husband. Yeah, well, I don't have one of them, so... <laughs> this is probably not a bad thing. Anyway, <laughs> for me, anyway. Right. I'm going to put that away, it's still available um, and I'll let you get back to your design. Now, you're going to see my hands getting really dirty because what I have done, um, I've already patinaed this, but I haven't rubbed it back yet. Okay. Um, some of it I have, um, but I haven't done it all. So I'm just, I'm going to just run my cloth actually, a little bit of thing over that just to, just to get the worst off. What I'm going to show you now is just how I got the frames sorted and I think Ali wanted to see this as well. Yes, so I, I I've just got, I want to see everything I've got you quite do, a big wooden dowel because I, 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 I work at a t uh, timber merchants, um, specialist timber merchants and they have all sorts of things so I'm on my lunchtime walks around the site I say oh now that would be really good to use as <laughs> and I come home I with shavings and sawdust and things like that so I've literally just wrapped that around there till it's crossed and I'm leaving quite a long tail on there I'm then going to take my pliers and I'm going to go into one, under one piece where and it these crosses are your flat -nose pliers. these are my flat nose pliers and then I'm going to see where the other one it goes, take it off. But what I need to do is bring that, bring the pliers. So it's not, I'm not going right up level to it because otherwise they're not going to meet. So Just you bring it back a little bit and then push it up, which will then leave you. If you pull that back together, gap. you've got a nice little bit of a gap going on there. And then I'm going to take some of the um, other wire which is I've just put a piece down some there it is and I'm going to wrap a little bit around there this is just to give me a little bit of, of um, structure going on in there and that's a 1.4 wire engage and as you can see I'm wrapping this around now again this is a really rustic look so I'm not going for a, a really fancy, um, fancy and nice and neat um, this is this is rough and rustic but Having said it's rough and, rustic, rough and rustic. I love that you're rustic. I love that you're wanting need. to tidy it up. You're like, I still want to well, tuck in my part of, part of the reason I'm doing that is this is going to be worn, and if it's going to be worn, you don't want this going. Yeah, if that's to next to the body, skin, you don't want do it you? to scratch, no. So, with that, then, like that, I'll let you off the I thing. take the round nose pliers. Mm -hmm. I'm say sorry for the hands, but this is because it's been patinaed. I'm gradually just pulling that back towards me just a little bit. And then I'm going to push both of those over, take the pliers out and turn it over because I want these to both be the same and obviously they, oh, the they pliers graduate. are tapered. Yeah. And then holding them, bring one of the wires back to the front and then the other one to the front. And this is the same for the earrings. And then I'm going to cross one of them and take it back round. And then the other one, I'm going to cross and take it back round. Okay, and then you've got a nice double hook there then, and that's going to hold that in nice and tightly. And then, just trim the wires a little bit. Okay, and then I'm just going to do a little coil just to give that a decorative finish. And again, I'm not being neat. Well, I am, actually. I am being re reasonably neat but not perfectly neat. And then I'm going to show you the alternative one that I did because there's two of these and I've got a couple of things to set into them. And I use this style ever such a lot. Now, at that point, with that leave like that, I'm going to leave it exactly as that is. So I'm not going to fold those back down until after I've done the resin. Right. Because otherwise I can't get in to set it. Yes, of course it will be in the way. So then I'm going to do the next one 
um, which is slightly different again. It's, I'm still going to do another round one. Still going all the way around. Trim it off. And then again, do what we did before. So one edge, bring it up. Second edge, bring it back a little bit. So that, that part is the same. It's absolutely the same in principle. And I did have a second piece of wire. Um, there's so many components to this, though. It's remembering where to put everything to make it nice and easy to grab. Oh, yeah, so, there's so many. It's ridiculous. Again, I'm going around that quite roughly. Now, this time, I'm going to leave one of the wires as it is. And I'm going to use the flat nose pliers, and I'm bringing it down. And then I'm just going to wind it round just nice and loosely and bring it back to the front. And then I'm going to get my round nose pliers and do a very tight... Whoops, did you get that, Ali? Sorry. That's all right. <laughs> um, you didn't touch me, to be fair. Bring that in and then that one will fold down. Like so. And then cut most of that off. I am on the next but I promise I'm going to get my hands cleaned a little bit. Don't Bring worry, you're, here, you're working, you know. <laughs> it's not to, to show off your hands, as lovely and as your hands are. <laughs> so that then gives you another bezel. Oh yeah, okay. A bezel. Now, before we do the resin part, I'm going to bring the little blocks back up again. And I'm going to sit that on the edge there. Now, first of all, I want this to be flattened because this is going to sit on top of the piece of paper that is actually the photograph. And then I'm just going around the edge just to dimple it a little bit. But I'm only going to do it on the top edge. I'm not going to do it on the bottom edge because I don't want this. I, I need to keep this um, so that it's going to sit neatly onto the resin. So flatten that piece again. Just let it sit in there. And this is why I said you really don't need to be too neat. So I'm going to drop those down. Now we're going to do the resin. And then once the resin's done, I'm going to just take you through how to shape the necklace and how to get those coils around it. So with the photographs, I, I think I'll just do one photograph for now because that you would be easier. You want to see the finished photographs on the necklace here. So you've got your seagull and your moon. So there's your seagull. Gorgeous. And this across. You went and bought yourself your super moon. Yeah. And play, play with your photographs on the computer so that you can work out the sizes that you need so that you can get a nice clear finish. Did you so just use the barrier cream there? I'm going to use the barrier cream when I do the resin. I'll get, get this little <laughs> lot wiped off. Ah. So at the <laughs> moment, I want to see how you... If I <laughs> held that just there, I've got to think where the coils are coming down and if that's enough. And I think actually that will be just fine. So, oh, it's so cool. What we're going to do is set him right on the edge there. In fact, I'm not going to do it on the edge there. And the reason that I'm doing that, I've just remembered one thing. The sticky back. Yeah, I'm just scrunching that up. I've got some sticky back. Um, it, it's actually book covering. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, when you're like at high school and you have yeah. to cover your school books. And you can get that in one of those um, high street places at the moment. And I'm going to pop that on the back of it and set it down nicely. Now, at this point, you can either use your, um, you know, that the, the medium that we had on when we had the chroma crackle a few weeks ago, the slap it on. You can, it's, it's a matte <laughs> slap it on it's because exactly that's what you do. You slap it on, <laughs> um, and you can seal it with that. But you have to let it dry. So this is just a quicker way of doing the same thing. Wow, nothing it's like being obvious. Still going to be set with resin. So we've got that on the back, and I'm going to do the same on the front. And because I've scrunched it, we're going to get that slightly aged look, which goes because obviously I've, t I've toned this oh. down and given it more of a retro look because that was the whole look that I wanted with the necklace. Um, so uh, although this is still going to be trimmed after it's had the resin on, you, I, I, I still have to work quite neatly. <laughs> that's, that's me. No, I'm with you as well. So uh, and what, all I've done on here is I've put some double-sided sticky tape because that just holds it into place. Same with that one there. And then I'm going to sit that frame so that... Let's see if I'm going to try, try and do this so the camera can pick it. 
If I sit that on the edge there, and there's a cat, how, how, where I need to angle this so you can see it. You can just see by my finger part of that, um, the, all the, all the uh, coiling at the top is actually just hanging over the edge of the block so and that, that will keep yeah. it nice and still. So that's ready now to resin. So I'm just going to mix up some resin, take you through that um, and then we'll have a nice demo, um, or a nice quick demo probably on how to put the ne whole necklace together. So is this the same resin we had from earlier? It is, yep, yeah, this is the same, it's all out of the same pack. So it's it, it, so you perfect. Can, so if you didn't get that earlier, because maybe you, you hadn't decided to do that design, but now you're thinking, oh, I want to do this design, there's still some available so you can yeah. get this now. So I've got relatively clean hands now. Now, I, I, I get so complacent about this because I do it, it's so automatic. I often forget to tell people that you really do need to use your barrier cream. And it's, you know, the, the, the resin isn't toxic, but you just want to try and avoid sort of getting well, too no much contact with your skin. skin. It doesn't need to be there, is um, it? And I do tend to just do it on, on my fingers because um, I'm not usually going to use the rest of it anyway. I'm just going to mix up. Um, I think I'm probably going to put in two grams of resin. I don't think we're probably going to need that much. In fact, we're not going to need that. I'm going to do one gram because looking at it, I've, I've got used people. People do say to me, how, how do you know how much to mix? You're um, a little bit like a cake, aren't you? You just put in what you think. Um, as long as you get the, 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 the ratios absolutely spot on, you're fine. But I'm quite used to looking at it and, and thinking, actually, I don't need that much on there. Mm. Or um, if I think, well, I might need to do a bit more, I might have a dozen or even, even um, 20 different pieces going on at a time, some needing an extra layer, some just starting, some filling a bezel. So I, I just keep it going like that. Just so you know, that was um, one gram of the resin and then 0.5 of the hardener. Yeah, absolutely. 0.5 of a gram. 0.5 of a gram, that's right. So I'm, I'm going to do the usual two minute mixing um, so that we can do that. I'm just wondering, to save a little time so we can move on, I just wonder if maybe Ali, if I you wanted like to, to stir, mix, yes. you could stir. Oh, oh. I'm gonna put, oh no, I'm not going to put the barrier cream on, only because it'll make mine, it's, there's a slight yeah. colour to it. And my nails will have a polish on them and it'll look like I've got dirty nails. Now, what I'm dirty doing people, now, just, just, just to sort of be able to move on through, um, I'm going to cut some of the jump rings that I made earlier. And when I cut one, obviously, the, the flush cutters are brilliant, but it does mean that one side of it doesn't cut flush because you've got that slight V. So I do tend to go back over it, <coughs> make sure that that's going to meet well. And if I do need to just trim it, then that's what I do because I do want to try and get a nice even finish. So I'm just going to cut a couple of those so that they're ready for when we do the demo. Just do a couple to me is any amount I feel like cutting. It's not necessarily two. <laughs> I just thought I'd say that. <laughs> um, I've got everything else laid out nice and ready. I think we're probably okay on the two minutes now, Ali, so stop we'll get stirring, these, you, mean. you can stop stirring that oh. now. Now, obviously, at this point, <laughs> normally, I would let this stand just to get the, um, the bubbles Kicks. out. Oh. The other thing that you can do is if you've got a heat gun, put the heat gun We've on. We've got a heat gun. You could put, if I had a heat gun. <laughs> what you can do is just put the, plug the heat gun in switch it on and then after it started going just go pass it over and then pass it back and that the heat of that and, and the reason I'm saying pass it over but don't you, you're not trying to sort of focus the, the, the you are literally passing it over don't use a hair dryer don't use a, a lot of us have just been like it looks just like a hair dryer why don't you do it? no you can't just so you know Okay, so we're going to put the graphics in for this as well. Um, this has got a two-speed heat tool on it. What would you use speed-wise of this? I would use the low one. The low one, the, low the first one. one. Yeah. So um, there's two different settings on it. It looks really cute, but it is actually for working for your um, gemstone jewellery or your, of course, your resin. Yeah. Fourteen ninety-five. We're going to go straight to that price there for you. It's available if you want to get a hold of it on the Webbly Wobbly Webster. And the barrier cream was there earlier. You saw that. That went to what? <laughs> We'll put that at the bottom there. Don't worry if you missed it. Sorry, just because you mentioned that there, I got That's excited. Okay, no. You had it? It's, they, they're useful and I, I do always have mine out when I'm doing resin just in case. But I and have friendly to say, plastic as well. Th yeah, but the, the beauty of this resin, I mean, look at it, even in that short break, um, this short rest while you were just introducing that, mm -hmm. again, nearly all the bubbles have already gone anyway. 
Does it's that make them too fast? Did I create No, bubbles? no, you, you can't help but introduce some bubbles. Oh, that's all right then. Now I'm scooping up just one drop and I'm going to just mix that <coughs> roughly into a circle. Roughly into a circle and it is just one drop at this point. And I'm going to lay that on there and then I'm going to put another drop in and another little drop. And then I'm going to spread that out. And what you'll find is that it will, as you, as you, as long as you make sure that it's made contact with the edge of the wire, and providing you've backed it properly, that is going to sit there. And sometimes there, if you just see how you can get that, you can get it to sit on. Obviously, I'm doing this in a bit of a rush, so it's not necessarily working as well as it normally would. Well, and no, then, we can see what you're doing. I'm just get it with the, if I just get that into shot now, with the other one, with this little square that I've made more as a diamond, a very small drop in the middle, and I'm taking that right up to the edge. And this is why this, um, it, it, we call it the Damien resin, but actually this is it's, it's standard resin. It's a really, I use this so much. Um, and I'll just bring it up to the sides. And now, I don't, again, I don't know if the camera would be would see that, but it's really making the colours pop in there. Oh, absolutely, making them shimmer almost a little bit like your um, um, copper platelets that you get in your sunstone. I'll just try and lift that slightly before it comes off. Oops. It's not, it's not here. Okay, it's not coming off just yet. But can you see the different colours there? Yeah, but it's picking up can see where we've done the hammer. I'm going to lower it down now before yeah. it does come off. Your resin's all going down. <laughs> and then I'm going to pop my little shell in the middle. And then I'm going to get my mixing stick and just scoop up some of that resin over the top of it. And then have a little bit and on this, just do a little bit at a time. It's all moving around now, but honestly, once once it starts to cure, this will uh, this will really just sit, and it really makes all those fantastic markings in the shell stand out. Stand out, and it's just a lovely way of remembering <laughs> one of your holidays as well. I can tell you that this little shell, this one is coming home with me, because my little granddaughter picked this up for me off the beach last year, so that has to go home with me. So that's that, and then just leave those to cure. You will see on that one, um, on, on this edge, because the, the um, I haven't quite hammered this one down quite enough, it's sticking up. The resin isn't going anywhere, it's just escaping a little bit out at the side, but it's, it's stopped now. The same, ha the same happened on another one, but I don't mind that, again, because this is rustic. I'm not going for this really neat finish. Mm. I want it all to work, but all to work together. So that's that bit. Now, just right. quickly, because we've had a lot of interest regarding this, somebody quickly introduce it for you. It's the Sparkle Effect Resin in orange and the Sparkle Effect Pearl Resin in bronze with a hardener and a pipette. It's known as the Bronze Resin Bundle, so the same hardener we've been using all morning. Yeah, afternoon even, forgive me. Um, and then you're getting your two different colours. Can I open these? Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> by my producer. You don't sound too sure. They are, they are the oh, most amazing, luscious colours. And for this time of year, Halloween and, and coming up to firework night, all the firework parties, you can do some amazing um, jewellery with these. Yeah. Whoa. Just look at that, just that sparkle is divine. Absolutely, I adore these, absolutely adore them. Autumnal, sparkly, <laughs> Christmassy. Who was it that spied these? Eagle eye. <laughs> Loving your work. So this is for the, the bronze and then this is for the sparkle. Um, what would you, how would you, what would you, hmm. But when you're mixing those, it's, it comes with um, the hardener, oh, yep, um, yep. and it's the same. Right, all of the all of um, the, the Chemset resins are all the same. So it's it's a ratio of two parts resin to one part hardener. Okay. So, uh, but the hardener that you use with these 
isn't the same as the one that we use with the standard doming resin. Oh, forgive it's me. A, it's so a this a is a different di one. It's a completely different hardener. Ah, so it's called the epoxy enameling hardener. Yeah. And the, the thing to remember is just look at the number on the side, which is that one's 8204, whereas this one is 8203, and this ah, is the okay. doming. So I always make sure that I mark mine oh, just okay. as a tip so you know that you don't get them mixed up. Forgive me, I'm saying it's the same. That's me being completely ignorant yeah. to the, the, to ratios, the doming. The ratios are the same. It's just a, it's a different chemical makeup. So can you just remind me of the ratios again for these ones? It's two parts resin to one part hardener. So if you had two grams of resin, you, you would put in one, one gram, gram of hardener. All oh, right, so two to one ratio. So whatever you decide to use. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yay! I love these. These are being allocated quite quickly. We didn't have many. For fifteen ninety five. you get the two pots plus the hardener that you need this specific hardener for it so it doesn't matter if you've got the 8203 hardener at home yeah. because that you wouldn't use with it all right so that's forgive me if um because i thought that that might have been able to work but therefore we know why i do not make this i just offer it okay now i'm just going to take you through now to, to get this shaped and I'm going to roughly the centre. Now this is obviously a piece of the twisted wire that I showed you earlier. I did it using the twisting pliers and it's three pieces of wire um, twisted together and then the patina added. And that's uh, one mil gauge wire. And that's wire. one mil gauge wire. And I'm now going to make the loop in the middle by taking that around like that. Okay. So we've got that loop, and that loop is where I'm going to put, be putting the bottle Yay! and one of the handles. So there we go with that one. So what excited about What this. I then do is take the one mil wire. Now that's a, we know that this has already been patinaed, and I start to wind it. Now I'm going to leave a, probably yeah, well about two inches on the end, and then I'm going to cut. So I'm going to try and keep this down. I'm just coiling it very loosely, no particular pattern, and going wherever the wire goes. So it doesn't matter. If this, remember, it's rustic and it's random. See where it's going to go. Some of them will be nice and big and some of them will be small. I do try to get the smaller loops as I go nearer the centre, but I do want some because it's the loops that have had a ha twisted wire you can see here or something pleated the twisted wires here and this is the effect there it's creating these all these rustic loops can you see and I'm just sorry I'm not talking that through very well and oh, it, it, because see. I'm just just carrying on round and round and round it's cumbersome because obviously we've already got the shape but it also helps to hold the shape by doing it okay so going round and round until we're nearly at this far end now and if you notice I am working off the coil I've not cut this because I really don't know how much wire I'm going to need because I'm really letting the wire do its own thing. So you just patina all of it and then yeah. you've got then you And when don't I get to that bottom, I just do a little bit of a tighter coil just to the top and then pull it a little bit straight and then with your flush cutters give it a cut 2 some centimeter off. at the end okay. same as the last. So that's that bit. I then work along and I'm just trying to just flatten it just a little bit. And I'm just working with it quite loosely. I haven't coiled that one round, so I better just do that because otherwise it's going to move with me. Yep, do both ends. Okay. And that one is not going to go back because it doesn't want to go back. And you don't have to flatten them all, but flatten them enough against on the bit where it's going to go um, against against the breastbone because you do want it to be comfortable to wear. And I'm just going wherever I think that that's going to fit. So that is, that's the stage now that that's at. I'm just going to call that around. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is to take the pearls, which I have prepared earlier. I've threaded the pearls onto the 0.4 wire. And I'm going to again start at, this, start at this end and get yourself a good tight coil to be going on with, just to get it nicely started. 
Sorry, I realise I'm taking my hands. Okay, I'm just going to push this away because just for a short while because I'm, my hands are getting higher and higher and the camera won't be able to pick it up, I don't think. So if I just move that and then start to bring, start to bring the pearls way. up and let the pearls go where it's going to fit nice and neatly with the coils. Okay. Ah, and I said so the pearls have already been threaded on to your wire. They've already been threaded onto the 0.4. Let's pull that around. I'm going to have a few more going onto that one because I'd like a few in there. Okay, and so on and so forth. And just as you go around, every now and again, just give the wire an extra twist just to secure <laughs> those pearls. That in there. Everyone got excited in there. All the boys were like, "Whoa, whoa, here they come! Look at them coming in!" So I'm going to I'm going to just tighten that off. And on that one now, I just want to go behind that coil. I'm not going to take this all the way around because I just want to show you how to balance some of the pearls when we sort of come into the end. But as you see, those now that then is starting to really take shape isn't it and it's up to you whether you whether you want to put a lot on or just a few on or whether you want to mix some of the carnelian in or whether you want to mix some of the black agate that had actually been my original plan right but when i saw these shell pearls I, and, I, against the color of the of the copper it just i just had to have them on the on their own yeah. and then use the carnelian as an accent so i'm just going to um cut that off so that we can carry on with the last bit just to show you how to balance it okay just bring that back into shot okay now I'm going to I'm going to work backwards so that you can see what I'm trying okay. you need Let's your scales for now no, the scales I was, can go. I was going to move all for you. They, they can Aww. all go. Hey, there we go. I was going to be helpful. No, and handy. you were because actually you're giving me more space. So what I've done here I've got do you remember when? And that's um, you, you can decide where you put them. There, and your messages can be your own. That's going to go there. In, in, have a look in there because there's all sorts in there. Ooh. They all get caught in a plastic bag. Oh, so, it's in Greek. I can't read that. Can't you? No, oh, neither can I. <laughs> <laughs> it is all Greek to me. It's like a little symbol for a hand, like like a fork. O M I with a line underneath. Mojito. Is that a mojito? What's that? Uh, I have no. Idea. Like no, two mojitos. It's, 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 it's a mythos. <laughs> it's just a lovely Greek beer. <laughs> mm, okay, okay, so I'm going round the middle of the bo bottle, and I'm literally going round it a couple of times again. Um, remember this is this is rustic I'm not going for really really um, beautiful wire work I'm just going rustic and I'm coiling it together now what I did on that one um, I did two separate wires and once I'd done the two separate wires I thought oh, I wish I'd done it differently so this is the way that I would do it if I was doing it again which obviously I am so <laughs> <laughs> just need to state the obvious Okay, so and I'm just holding, I'm just holding the wire separately, and just I'm actually twisting the bottle. Okay, and that is, then I'm bringing it round, and then take the wire over the top, separate it out, wrap it back round, and again, just do a little nice little twist in that just to keep that together. Oh yeah. Okay, and then just trim it. Um, and obviously, although we're rustic, we have got to think of who's wearing it and how comfortable it is. So just coil that over, tuck it in, and press it in with your finger. So then you've got your bottle. Oh, and then I look at the it. other th look at the other things that you've got. And oh, sorry. How can I, we how move I, it back? Sorry. So you see. Oh yeah, sorry. Yes. There's your bottle. <laughs> And what I then did was think, okay, well, where do I want to place all the other things? So I, I put one there. I would probably put another one in there because actually we've got quite a big gap there. And then I placed my little photographs where I wanted the photographs. And then I decided I'd have a frame. And into the frame, I might put one of those. And then I might have the shell just there. And then once I'd got all of those on, mm -hmm. then I started to um, fill that out then with more of the gemstones. So I and got the key ice cream and the ice cream cone. And the ice cream cone 
is literally, I'm not quite sure where we are for time now, we must be coming to the end. Um, yes, there's some beads in there, just so you know. Um, just to let you know, there's one left of the bronze resin bundle. What was that, about a break? Oh, go on a break in a moment. I thought you had to do it now there, that's why I got confuzzled. To do that, all I've done is gone up through the thing with one of the, um, I've just used a square, I've used a square head pin, and then I've put the bead on top, pushed the bead in really well, bent it back as you would do a normal head pin, and then did um, a normal little hoop. And that's my ice cream cone. So that would then go at the side oh, there. Oh, so cute! And oh, then well just, sorry, oh yeah, I keep pushing that too far forward. Yes. <laughs> there. Have I got one second just to show you about putting the coil on the end? Yes. Right. Whoops. To put, <laughs> the cone, oh, yes, to, put, to put the cone on the end, really, 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 really quickly, <laughs> pop that over the end of your wire. Okay. Put a bead on the end, if you would like to, that is. And then bend that over, cut it off. And then just, I'm sorry, these are shooting off all over the place now. And then just do your coil, um, your little on there. And then that will stay there. And then what I've done to finish it off, if we could just turn that one of round, course. Ali. I've I just done an ordinary S hook on the back of that. Well, it's not actually an S hook, it's just a Fiona hook. <laughs> it worked for me. <laughs> it's a hook and it hooks you in. It's a hook, it hooked me in and that was it. So on the, on the back of that one, I've just curled the um, twisted wire. But again, having done it, I thought actually it would work much better if we did that and it would just give you a nice finish. So there you've got your two alternatives, if I just pop that down. Just so you know, the bronzed um, sparkly resin has sold out. Well done. I hope you got that. So kit wise, we've not got that much left. So um, you might have fallen in love with what Fiona did. I think that's a silly thing to suggest. <laughs> you will have, we all have. Love it, love your memories as well. Thank um, you. And it's probably making you think, oh, hold on, I want to remember my summer in that way. There's also though, um, opportunities to work with these genuine gemstones in a totally different way. But still using the wire, still using the sort of um, patina. Yeah. And giving you different shapes and colours in your wire. Again, that the idea that you just um, showed us there with the, the necklace finishing it. This is what you get. You get your two different types of copper, um, raw copper wire that is one uh, 10 metres of 0.4 mil gauge and the other is 10 metres of 1 mil gauge. You've got yourself your carnelian strands that you're not seeing there, but you do get carnelian strands, you do get copper, uh, sorry, agate strands, and you do get the shell pearl strand as well as um, the glass bottle with the cork in it. You also get the sulphur gel and you also get um, your blanks, five of the hearts and five of the squares. The hearts are 35 millimeter in size and the approximately 20 mil again for the squares, five of each, plus three strands of gemstones. Well, two gemstones and one um, shell pearl. Yep. Ah, uh, me to the zing. Um, brilliant. At £24.95, you get all of that. You could make this, you can make this, you can make all of it, and then you can start again. I um, love that. Thank you. Um, we're going to be moving on to the too thing you didn't manage to get to see, because there's lots to try and fit in. There's so much there. We could, well, I could watch you do that forever. Um, do drop us a wee message. We can go through anything that you maybe didn't fully, if, if there's anything that you didn't fully get. But if you got everything, brilliant. You're probably off to start making it. Don't <laughs> go yet. We're having a really short break, so you can top up your tea, and the other side will be bringing you a lot of treats. Here at Jewellery Maker, we love seeing your jewellery creations, learning about your inspiration and reading your blogs. If you write your own craft or jewellery blog, then we'd love to hear from you. Simply tweet us at jewellery underscore maker UK with your blog link and we'll be in touch. You can now watch clips from Jewelry Maker on our YouTube channel.
Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Do you have a question that you need answering? Well, did you know you can ask to speak to an accredited jewellery professional in our call centre? Trained by the GIA, you can ask us any gemological question and we'll do our best to help. We don't just sell gemstones, we know gemstones. That's why when you buy from us, you're buying with confidence. Buy your genuine gemstones from genuine accredited jewellery professionals. If you love classic jewellery, then why not come and join guest designer Gemma Crow on our vintage workshop. Gemma will guide you through various beading and wire work techniques, which will inspire you to create timeless designs from a bygone era. The full course includes a selection of wire, a selection of findings and charms, a bead scoop, use of all relevant tools and equipment, a buffet lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studio and a visit to our gemstone museum. All of this for just $69.95. Have a blast from the past and take home some amazing designs. For further information, contact our call center on 0800 644 655. The fastest way to shop with Jewelry Maker is by going to our website. Just click on the sign up button. Once you've filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the Watch Live button on the front page. You can also use our Refine tool and narrow down your search. Once you've found an item that you like, just simply click on the Buy Now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget you can add as many items to your basket per day and still only pay one P&P. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. It's really, really good to see you. Um, myself and Fiona will be taking you through the last. There's only about 50 minutes left of us, Fiona. I can't believe where the afternoon's gone. It's just absolutely flown by. What's that all about? Um, I'm having a ball. Are you enjoying yourself? I've loved it. Absolutely loved really? it. Really? Yeah. Yay. As you know, I mean, I just adored those kits anyway. So I've just, I've had a ball. Oh Thank good, you. I'm so pleased. <laughs> um, now you might get a second to play with your challenge. I hope so. Because <laughs> I haven't done anything other than cut them off the strand yet. <laughs> um, well what I will do is leave you for a moment, try to give yourself a wee chance with that and show you these. Now, what I'm about to, to offer you here is an opportunity called the Lavender Fields. Now poor Ben, cameraman, is both cameramanning and directing. I at the Pete same time. Here, he thought Pete was in here, but he's not. No, he's out making a cup of Peter's. Uh, without a top back on. Lovely. He's not even got a top back on. He's oh, just making lovely. a cuppa. <laughs> um, so Ben's come to put your camera in place so that we can show you this. These, this one, um, has been made by one of our beading buddies, Shara. Also, a pair of earrings. And then, if we have a look up to our third necklace that was made, you can see just what you can do with clear quartz, labradorite, hold on, peridot, light amethyst, and purple magnesite. What? You've got a lot. So I'm just going to move these to say, aren't they gorgeous? They were made by Shara, our beading buddy who's in today. Actually, I passed her on my way in the door. We were both arriving at the same time earlier. Um, these are fabulous. And what Shara's made with them, three totally different looks, all gorgeous. Shara's in six days a week. These, this is your purple magnesite. I fell in love with this the other day, actually. It's really gorgeous. Um, You've got these lavender amethysts. Hello, hello there. Light amethysts, they are centre drilled nuggets, which is quite unusual. 9 by 18 millimetre up to these big ones of a 13 
by 19 millimeter 250 carats of these amethysts the proper magna site is 80 carats with six by three sort of zambian amethyst and i can't think of any other gem that can give you that color i really really love it i was obsessed with this the other day when it launched and then three strands here it looks really like your expensive high-end amethyst isn't it um, and then three strands of seed beads that are two millimeter round you've got the clear which is this one here I know it's got a white thread through the middle so it might not look clear but they are clear they've just clearly used a white thread unfortunately um, and then you've got the labradorite in the middle and peridot peridot plain rounds when do we ever do that not very often at all so there are your seed beads um, I believe that all that's been used so far has been the amethyst. Um, Shara hasn't even begun to start with the seed beads. Um, but what you have here is lovely. What do you think? So you have yourself four opportunities to treat yourself or not four opportunities, one, two, three, four, five different, five different strands, 10, strand, uh, 10 carats in each one, plus your magnesite and your amethyst. So should be price, would be, <laughs> should be, would be, is that all for five strands? But we're gonna go low, why not? What do you think? Should we do it? Yes, we should. Can we do it? Yes, we can. Uh, where? Ooh, 10.95. Two pounds and 19 pence per strand. Now to create looks like those necklaces or those earrings, there have been lots of other components used, whether it be um, your swedette, whether it be yourself, uh, your findings, or whether it be a little bit of chain, shepherd hooks, um, sparkly balls. There have been other components used. But with 10.95, you've still got three str or four strands left over that haven't been touched. Isn't that fabulous? Oh yes. So call me when you can. I'm, a li I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm massively obsessed with this purple strand. Purple magnesite. I think it's unisex, depending on what you use with it. Julie, Wilma, Chrissy, Janet, Glenn, you don't tend to wear much jewellery, but would you wear this colour, do you think, if someone made you a bracelet, like a manly bracelet? You wouldn't. Okay, Glenn wouldn't. He doesn't wear jewellery. I'd rather he was honest. I know Pete, on the other hand, will be like, yes! Can I make it myself? He's like, what have I signed up for? What, I was making coffee, what am I doing? Um, and then to get these seed beads, well, when do we ever get seed beads of Labrador or seed beads of Peridot? Have you ever seen Peridot seed beads? Don't worry if you haven't, because nobody else seems to have. Have you seen pe seed beads in Peridot? No. Not in Peridot. They're really pretty. Because it's a gemstone you could use as, I know it's, I'm saying spacer for genuine gems, but the size of them, what you're actually getting, and the price point that you're getting them at, you could actually afford to use them as spacers. We've lost it again. <laughs> She's gone. <laughs> Fiona's <laughs> making her jewelry on her knees. <laughs> the seed <laughs> just keeps going. <laughs> we need Fiona <laughs> back. Someone help Fiona, we've lost it. You can't be having fun, behave. Yeah. Pete, help her. Make yourself useful. You've been roaming around today. Where have you been? Needing your own cameras? Where were you? Box was shut, where were you? Making cups of tea. Help Fiona on her seat. Look at her, she's sinking. It's like that strong one, Ben. She's sinking again. Fiona didn't come here to sink. <laughs> Wasn't she what she intended to what do? She came here to make jewellery. Right, let's get it up again. Should we get you another, have we got let's another chair? Pete, help time. her, don't right. just look. Hello. This is when I, I feel, I know what this is like, because I fell off my chair on the telly, and everybody just left me on the floor. 
<laughs> don't lean back, don't lean back, don't lean back. <laughs> if you lean back in the chair, you will flip off. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Right, Pete, you sort oh, the chair out. I'll get back to this, or at least try and sort a chair. Ed's giving you a wave. He'll be down soon. Not too soon, though. He's, he's, got, he's got to get changed, I think. Well, he had shorts and T-shirt on, so he might be doing the show in shorts and T-shirts. I don't know. <laughs> um, right, so you have five. Have you even got any of these left at this price point? Pete, stop playing on the chair. <laughs> Pete's gone and got the other one, put it up really high, and then press the button. He's like swinging down. He's like, oh, I can do it too, Fiona. Look at me. Not a competition, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm doing fun with the chair. Oh, put him in a room with the chair. He's happy. Right, 10 <laughs> I'm moving on. When are we doing these garnets? Because I really like them. Can we do them now? I don't know if I'm ready for them now. No? No? Oh, my face hurts from smiling so much. I can't tell if it's a combination of the garnets on their own or the garnets and Fiona Potter sinking. <laughs> oh, we've got her back. Finally. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> That chair is broken though. <laughs> it's definitely broken. And it was before I came. Oh yeah, no, I it. broke it yesterday. That's all right then. <laughs> well, I don't know if it was broken before me, but I sat on it yesterday and I was going down and down and down. And then I tried to lean back and nearly fell off the back of it. So yeah. Gorgeous. Hey, Reuben. You want to come on the telly, Reuben? Look at your eyes. How big are your eyes? I don't know if we can see you over the telly. Can I lift you up? Yeah. Can I, do you want to go up? I think yeah, I'm not going to show your branded crisps, darling. That is a big bag. <laughs> right, this is ribbon. Do you want to wave? Get it, go on me. <laughs> do you want to sink? What are you up to? Ooh. I don't think you can get on the table, sweetheart. Do you want a stool? All right, I'll get you a stool. There we go. We have a wee stool. It's like a boogie board that you can put on a pram. There we go. Do you want to do the show for me, ribbon? What do you have to say? You want to yeah. say hi? You don't look very happy. You were all happy a minute ago. Are you pretending? You know, do you want to hold this for me? Can you hold this for me? So you hold the end of it and you can hold it still. <laughs> Come on, let's go. You were all happy a minute ago, Ruben. Do you want your crisp back? I'll just have it. Oh, cheese and onion. <laughs> Sorry, other crisps are available. <laughs> he was so happy a minute ago. I scared him. Sorry, Ruben. Don't climb the pole. It won't end well. <laughs> oh, he looked like he wanted to be on the telly, didn't he, Fiona? You look so cute, bless him. He really happy. I didn't mean to take them, I just thought, <laughs> you can't get on the table and eat crisps at the same time. Oh gosh, oh dear. This is why I don't have kids. Like, oh, Scare the devil living daylights out of them, don't I? 45 carats of completely genuine, natural garnets. They're gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Everything about them. The glow, the colour, the quality. One in a ring, they're, they're quality to have in a ring, aren't they? Mm. Mm. Matching earrings. What would you do with these, Fiona? Um, I quite, the shape of them, but I have to do several different things. I mean, definitely a, pe a single drop on a pendant. Oh, that sounds good. You know, in, with a really lovely sterling silver um, chain and earrings to match. But also, I think they'd be absolutely beautiful done as they are but with some really, really gorgeous spaces in between, whether there were space, but actually some really nice, um, oh gosh, you can't, you know those like little black, like, like the like little, these. yeah, or the little black agates like we had in the, um, in the kit, oh, would yeah. look lovely to space in between those. They're, they're stunning, aren't they? That sounds good. 
That sounds really nice. Yeah, or even like a little charm bracelet with them all hanging off. <gasps> Could you imagine? That would be nice, wouldn't it? They are so lustrous, so deep, so intense. As much as Ruben doesn't seem particularly excited by them. No, they weren't crisps. I think that's what it was. Um, these glow. These are what excites me. Oh, yes. The quality and colour, the size, the shape, everything about them. Oh, you think of mulled wine? Mmm, they're pure, rich Mozambique garnet. They've got quite a lot of red in them, the pure pyrope. Seasonal? Are you thinking festive period? I'm thinking autumnal with browns and bronzes and oranges and goldens. They're almost sort of like little berries, but they're not berries, are they? Or, or you know, sort of, I can't think of the, of the um, tree that I'm thinking, but they have. Oh, it's one of those like aviary type trees, and they have the very feathery flower, um, very feathery leaves that go that beautifully deep oh. garnet colour. And you can sort of have some of those hanging off a single chain. With, with the little feathers c coming down like the feathery leaves. That sounds pretty. I like the sound of that. I'm not doing very well at describing myself, but that's kind of No, what I, I, mean. I get what you mean. I know what you're talking about. I can't picture the tree, though. I don't think I've seen this tree before. I want to see it. It's, it's a stunning tree. Mm. It's very ornamental. I, I know, and only quite, you know, they don't grow very big either. Hmm. So it's one of the, I'm sure it's a Japanese Acer that I'm thinking of. Oh, I'm going to have to put that into one of our search engines when I go home. Um, these I expected to have sold out instantly. I'm surprised I have any. Um, I think they would look classic with pearls. Oh yeah. And we are down to 1995. Stunning. Gorgeous, gorgeous strand. £19.95 pence in Lincolnshire, the Vale of Glamorgan, Greater Manchester, Cambridgeshire. What a steal. I hope you don't mind me saying that. But for garnet jewellery, January's birthstone, for a gemstone that I know personally has always been a big favourite of mine. Before I even joined the Genuine Gemstone Company, I love garnets. I always thought they were a gift that you would give to somebody as a, an engagement ring or a, uh, an anniversary stone. I didn't think you could just buy them. What is it? And it wasn't until I was an adult that I, because that's not what they called him. You know, you all have a, a name that people... A nickname, yeah. Yeah, and it wasn't until I was sort of a teenager I realised his name was Garnet. I just thought, what a lovely name, and I wonder yeah. why they called him Garnet. Because obviously it's... Maybe he was born in January. Maybe. Maybe. Mm. That's, a, that's really it's different, It's an unusual isn't it? name, though, isn't it? It is. There was not someone at your school called Tree. Oh, well, my, my old drama teacher was called Tree, but it's for, short for Catriona. We called her Tree. Was it a girl or a boy? A girl. Quite possibly Catriona, and they called her Tree for short. <laughs> you made it out as if like it was a, 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 <laughs> an actual tree from the garden. I'm thinking, hmm. Although, um, I don't know, stranger things have happened. Hmm. Sheila and Martin, you've got yours. I'm trying to see if there's any fancy names coming in now. I used to teach um, a little girl called Atlantis. Oh, how lovely. Atlantis. Um, the, I, where I used to teach, I used to teach at um, performing arts school on a Saturday when I wasn't going to the, the university or the college of it. On a Saturday I used to teach and um, there was a lot of um, famous people who would bring their children to this school um, and, and I would teach them and the names were just crazy just crazy I couldn't it's, you, can, you can't give someone called Atlantis into trouble though can you no one Atlantis <laughs> you just can't do it <laughs> point that toe naughty toes good toes it just wasn't happening <laughs> um, 1995 for January's birthstone what a price point what a piece I have just thought that would look quite lovely with copper wire Right. Cornelian, I've been waiting for this for ages. I'm loving this. Sorry, Glenn. Poor Glenn's trying to do both cameras and I go up and down and up and down. I change height every 10 seconds, then I'll sit down, then I'll stand up, then I'll slouch. 
<laughs> Are you ready for some carnelian? We've been looking at this forever, it feels like, and we're finally getting to get a hold of it. What do you think? Loving them or loving them? What would you put with them? Gold? Ooh! You love it? Maybe. And, ooh, rose gold. Ooh! What's your favourite? The yellow gold or the rose gold? Uh, rose gold. Rose gold? Mmm. Mmm. If only I had, oh, I don't know, a tea bar to go with it. With some extender yeah, they look chain. Lovely, don't they? Mm. Oh yes. Mm. Oh, I've already got quite a few people checked out of the carnelian. I haven't even got started with this one. There's a lot on here. Um, Carnelian-wise, three by one millimeter. They go wheels up to six by two mil, and they are plain. They've not got any faceting to them. They're juicy as you like. Out in New Jersey, Debbie, a very regular. Lovely to see you there. Thank you very much for taking the time to join us. Worcestershire, Gloucestershire. Out in London, you've already confirmed and checked yours out. So it's Worcestershire, well done. Uh, so it's New Jersey. You've already got the. Can you see a price on the web or something? What's the price on the web? <gasps> Don't fib. <laughs> you are joking. No way. No, I'm not happy. Not having it. This is not the way to do it. Real carnelian. Look what, what you have here is cherry picked. You can see that for yourself. These are the deepest, darkest, richest oranges. Oh, well, we're about to give this away. So um, I'm just going to show it to you with some treats I think it would work lovely with. Lovely, lovely. Maybe, maybe not. Black that we've had earlier, some agate. Ooh, magnesite. Let's get it on. Look at that. Ooh. Loving it. That is Moroccan, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, I like that. Oh, yes. Um, on the phone lines, I would, uh, if you join us via phone lines, I would give us a call. Look at what you probably would never have thought of putting together that I hope you like. Did you never think of it? That would you do it? You would. You might not have been the first, but you would do it. Loving it or loving it? No, don't, you can't, well, actually, at the price you're going to, it seems like you have just thrown it together, so you might as well just throw it in. 6.95. 6.95. No way. Yeah. Is this because it's your final day before your two days off? It is, isn't it? She's getting a little bit um, happy. <laughs> no, my shift side tomorrow is going to have to deal with this. The backlash we're going to get off Carnelian at 6.95. Oh my gosh, how am I going to do a late show tomorrow evening with this to contend with? Ha! You give me a challenge, I shall rise. Six pounds and 95 pence. Oh, I think I might go with my blue dress. What do you think? Yeah. Can I try it on? Oh. Oh, yes. Ooh, maybe if you've got some kyanite, that would look quite fabulous together. Kyanite, oh. iolite, sapphires. Doesn't that sit beautifully and, and really complement the colour of your dress? <gasps> Yay, I like my dress yes. even more now. That really, really works. It's a lovely pop of colour, isn't it? And I'm just thinking quite a lot of us have sort of navy blues or denims. Navy blue is quite popular, isn't it? Yeah. Whether it be a, a suit or a dress, maybe it be a blouse. You probably I, had you thought of wearing it with orange before? I hadn't. I hadn't thought of wearing carnelian and, and my blue outfits together. And now I want to. Quite complimentary by the looks of it, and quite unisex actually. Yeah, are we are we going in there? Are we loving it? Hmm. What other blue gems would you put it with? From my left or my right? My left. <gasps> oh, some lighter. Oh, yes. These could work really cute in between, actually. Just giving it a wee twist for you. Love a good wee twist. Ooh. You could use these as spacers in between. These would be pretty fab, don't you think? Oh, 
What do you mean maybe we won't do them? You can't say, Ali, wants a number two, and then I get it out, and then I wrap it all, and then we all look at it and all think, oh yeah, it goes really well together, and go, actually, maybe we won't do it. <laughs> yes, let's do it now. It's already, con it's already decided we're doing it, Helena. You can't take it back. Um, what price are you going to... Is the price really low? Is that why we can't do it? That's a raspberry price, if ever I heard one. 10 carats, 2 millimetre round apomatites. Not because somebody was hungry when they found it and decided to name it after that, because they had a bit of an appetite. Um, coming from the Greek word apoteo, meaning to deceive. Because when so many people found it, they thought it was a different gem to what it actually was. It easily gets confused with different gems. A lot of people confuse it with Pariba tourmaline, the blue version. Has been confused with spinel, yeah. Mm. Now, with these seed beads, working with these seed beads from earlier, from the bundle a moment ago, with the greens. Oh, gosh, look at those two together. Oh, they would all work, wouldn't they? A country valley, then. The love of the palette of colour is making um, Ben on, on direction think of a country valley. Oh, nice. The stream of water, the grass, clear skies and the clouds. And then the mermaids. Mm. I added in the mermaids, he didn't see. <laughs> you couldn't think of anything. I was thinking of a riverbank, but mermaids Ooh. sound so much nicer. <laughs> I just think Labradorite reminds me of a tail. If I was a mermaid, that's the kind of tail I would have. I would have a Labradorite tail. Mm. Yeah. Because you know how they shimmer? Do you know those mermaids that we meet each weekend, we hang out with? Those ones. <laughs> I'm a little bit obsessed with mermaids. Just their tails, really. Um, Lorna has got one in Tayside. Only Lorna. <laughs> so we're going to get a price in for you. So more than one person is going to treat themselves to this. You are getting appetites that you can mix with a huge range of gemstones. Do you know what I'm going to do tomorrow night? I'm going to bring in my necklace that's got my antique bronzes and my smoky quartz and my turquoise colours. Um, it's a choker and it's five strands. Sorry, I didn't mean to knock my mic. Um, and it's all gems and it's got like a dark sort of smoky quartz and bronze tones and then it's got this pop of sort of a, a smoky quartz a pop of like a turquoise and a pop of a um a blue a blue topaz and it's really really lovely and these would work perfectly to make something like that it's gorgeous i got it on my 18th birthday and i think i'll bring it in so you can all see the gems aren't from here because obviously i, I didn't work here uh, this company didn't even jewelry maker didn't even exist on my 18th birthday so um so it's not from here but you could create get gems from here to recreate it mm. right Toggle clasps, these ones. Oh yay. So I've got, these look like, do you know what these look like? I don't know whether it's because my friends have just come back from um, their, um, they do, what's it called? Hiya, karate. Um, and <laughs> <laughs> my friend does the, um, what's it called, kata where it's just all the different moves. She's really good, she does it for Scotland, she's awesome. Um, and her and her sister do it, um, all the sort of karate different things. And they just won some medals at an event. So um, this is making me think of the, the medals. Maybe I'm thinking of Olympics, I'm getting a little bit excited. That's not till Rio 2016, but, but still. These could look like little medallions, little medals, couldn't they? They could. You could, you know, if you had a round cabochon, Ran cabochon on those, couldn't you? So that oh yeah, you know, instead of having a hole. Mm. They're fab. So you get a T bar with each one, but each one. So they've got a jump ring in the middle, each one, and they are open or closed. They are, I think, closed jump rings actually. Yeah, that's closed. They're not open for you. So closed at the top plus. You get your T-bar, which has some extender chain on there as well, in each colour. They are perfect for cufflinks, aren't they? 
straight away. All you need to do is get a wrap loop and attach a gem and you've got a cufflink. They're like the easiest cufflinks ever. Would be, wouldn't they? Mm. So you get what's called 24 pieces. Well, that's not right. I can tell you that straight away. 24 clasps you're going to get. Eight in each design. So eight, well, design, they're all the same design. Eight in each color, should I say. Um, you've got the yellow gold plating, you've got the rose gold plating, and you've got the silver plating all on top of copper and you get a toggle and a chain on each one so there are technically 48 pieces 24 that counts as a clasp so you get a jump ring I'm guessing that's about six seven mil there that's um, not open it's closed plus your link of chain plus your T bar. 42, uh, sorry, 48 components or 24 toggles. So these should be 1795, but we're gonna drop them and we're gonna drop them to just 1295. I'd like to just put a bit of chain on and have it like that. Just as a pendant. See why not? Don't see why not. You could have some loose gems jingling off it, can you? You could, yeah. You could make you could use it and make it as the centre for some tassels coming down, couldn't you? You know, if you had if you if you had loads of chain and kept dropping the chain through round and round and then have several tassels coming off the bottom of it. Well, that sounds like an idea. Well, I like tassels. Mm. I like tassels as well. Debbie B got me into tassels. Did she? Yeah. <laughs> Gotta love Debbie B. Oh, yes. Um, so that's your clasp, how it will look finished, if you wish to use it as a clasp. So you've got the chain there, and then either end you would attach it to the either end of your necklace or your bracelet or wherever it may be. Francesca's in, Helen's in. I've got Cumbria, West Midlands, London, Suffolk, Lancashire, um, Zood in Holland. A very regular, great to see you out there in Northamptonshire. What a treat indeed. So it looks great finished. If I hold it that way, you can see. Um, and you can join me on the phone lines on 0800 644 655 for free. Um, and add to your same order. You can do what Nottinghamshire is doing, uh, same as Suffolk, Lancashire, Northamptonshire. Is join us on the Wibbly Wobbly website. It's Julianamaker. Dot com. Code on this one if you've not yet given the time to call or not yet had a chance. LRJD62 or JD, however you wish to know it. LRJD62. Um, yeah, I say J, but I think most people say J. It's a Scottish thing, it's how we learn the alphabet. Anyway, H I J K L M N O P. Anyway, um, I've, 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 now and again I, I explain it because I know a lot of people don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, so that's there for you. Try and check it out because I'm going to jump on to um, Labradorite. Oh, the coins. Oh, oh fancy. I think I launched these the other day, you know. Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't. They were ovals. They're a very, very similar colour. You get such great quality um, shimmer from these, which you see. Natural Labradorite, which you see. Of course, that's got an amazing blue on it when I looked at it from above. Darn you, camera. Oh, there's the shimmering green. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, wow. You see, that one had a sort of yellow shimmering off it a moment ago. Oh, they're not playing ball right now. Oh, there you go. There's some shimmer. Mmm, Labradorite is a very, very popular gemstone with many of our jewellery makers. Don't worry if you're, you've never heard of it before. It's a natural gemstone that's de lum to delicious. Ooh, you're getting oranges from these. Don't know if you can see this one here has a lot of oranges. Is it going to be orange for you? No, it's not.
It's almost like a little bit of a rainbow going on in that one. If you think that looks good, they've all got it. Just not all able to show you it once. The one above it is blue. They've all got it. It's a gorgeous quality. You might think because it's a lighter shade in the body. There's the greens coming through in that one. Some, oh, there's some of the coppers coming through on them. They're, they're working. The oranges, can you see the dark blues? That one's got like a really dark, uh, anyone you look at, they're all amazing. They're all, they've all got it going on. Um, it's quite an elegant gem, quite a calming gem, quite a unisex gem. And it's one that doesn't in the real world, and I say real world, out, out with the genuine gems from company, um, and sort of high street jewellers, you, you don't usually get in a high street jeweller a labradorite. You're not very often going to see a labradorite ring or labradorite earrings, but no, I didn't even know it existed until I joined this company. No, no me, but I love it. Isn't it lush? Quite a lot of people are uh, in the same boat as us here, Fiona. We've got Terence, June. No, it's not. Um, we're going to be taking this. <laughs> but you could pay more for spring rolls at that price. <laughs> Sorry, I just thought I would fancy spring rolls for tea. Um, d not just spring rolls, by the way, <laughs> to start. What do you fancy now? A takeaway of the Chinese origin. Oh. Well, at this price point, Seven ninety five. It's fabulous, isn't it? If you go to London, you couldn't even get one cocktail for that price. What are you talking about? Wonton soup now? Dumplings. I do like a wonton soup. Oh yeah, yeah, yummy. I'm making everybody hungry now. Sorry. I always talk about food. I'm surprised this is the first. Oh, no, it's not the first I mentioned it. I was just talking about chocolate earlier, which technically <laughs> isn't really food, is it? Sandra there, Wilma there, well done to you. Nor uh, North Yorkshire, Buckinghamshire, Fife, Middlesex. Check it out. Try and get that before it goes. A lush pear shape. Uh, just going to count them for you quickly. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Twenty-two. An extra two on there, roughly 22. So that's 11 pairs of earrings you can make. Loving it. I'm just going to jump onto which one? A brand new shot. Oh, the white moonstone. You, yes. I didn't forget about it. I just didn't think we'd get to do it. I love this. This is gorgeous. Talking of moonstone, did you um, know white moonstone existed? A lot of people know that the rainbow moonstone exists, but not white moonstone. No, I didn't. No. <laughs> did you just go down again? Yeah. <laughs> it's a different chair. I'm just going to bring my own, I think. <laughs> I just, I've given up. I'm just standing. <sighs> Yeah, I just... I'm wearing a hole in the floor, <laughs> I am. I've definitely, as the, as the afternoon's gone on, I've definitely had that sinking feeling. <laughs> I would never have noticed. No, no, no. I noticed that, Fiona. <laughs> it usually takes more than a chair to get me under the table. <laughs> OK, so Sorry. we have your white minstone. What do you think? The shimmer that you got. Whoa. Can you see? It gives you the moonstone glow. So you, you've you got here, not the, um, the rainbow blue that you expect, but this. I always try and compare it to a mother of pearl shimmer. What, what would you say? Have you ever even tried white moonstone before? It does not get enough recognition. And I think sometimes, because white moonstone can be quite, um, if it's not top quality, it can be quite dull. It can be, can't it? It can be quite cloudy. Um, and it, it, it's not that exciting, if I'm being honest. It's not. But when you get top quality white moonstone like this, and you get to see that pure glow, that angelic white, then, then you understand the beauty of this. 
Don't be put off if you've had a bad first impression of White Moonstone because it's, it's, it's fabulous. With pearls, they would go fabulously with. I, I'm, I, I'm adamant to put them with pearls, but any gemstone. Um, I'm trying to put my hand in. Sorry, Glenn. I'm all fingers and thumbs today. I just want to touch it everywhere. <laughs> but the glow that it has naturally, the shimmer I think is so reminiscent of a mother of pearl. Especially that one. I mean, it's, it's all over it. It's not just on a particular one, but the way the light is catching, for example, that one there. They've all, they're just, it's on all of them. They're just amazing. You've got your 30 day money back guarantee. They're just wonderful. No quibbles. If you change your mind, all you need to do is post it back. You don't need to write a letter of explanation and the money will just go back onto the card that you got it from. No, you don't need to justify yourself. Have you changed your mind? Well, I understand you might be trying something you've never tried. How on earth are you supposed to make your mind up? So I posted things back. In fact, no, that's a fib. I brought things back because the vault's here. So there's no point in me posting it because I come here every day, pretty much. Um, so, but yes, no, I have because I bought things and I thought, oh, I wonder if they'll go with that particular top or that particular outfit, mainly dresses, and I'll take it home and I'll think, oh, yes, it would go, or I think, oh, actually, no, um, it doesn't go as well as I thought it would. So you change your mind. People, you have the right to change your mind. I think you go to 1995. Don't need to sound so happy when you say no. Is it 21.95? What do you mean change from that? I totally disagree. Apparently that's what you call a pouty price. Apparently when I don't like a price, I pout. <laughs> I can't do it on demand, but if I don't like it, apparently I pout, says producer, uh, director Tom. Mm-hmm. I'm not happy with that price at all. This, this is ridiculously low. Although, to be fair, it was an introduction to gemstone jewellery, don't we? I'm sure Tom made it up because we kept doing prices like this on gemstones that I love. It's um, an introductory price is what you're getting to for a gemstone that you may have heard. Rainbow moonstone, very much so, but white moonstone you possibly haven't ever tried. This is your introductory price at six ninety five. I do not agree with it. I would have thought with the highest caliber moonstone you go up to nineteen ninety five and, and beyond. For this, it's the highest caliber white moonstone and it's it's six ninety five. I feel like we're on the late show. It's not the late show. This is still the design inspiration. Can I put this on? Sorry, Glenn. Poor Glenn. I have to move the camera every 10 seconds. And this isn't without it being a natural day. Like, give it a try. Don't be shy. 0800 Call me on the phone lines. Join me on the web as quickly as you can. These are divine. You've got to get them. You've got to, got to, got to, got Have I mentioned you've got to get them? You've got to try them. They're at six ninety five. That's not an added order for a beautiful. This is top quality, the finest quality we've offered. No joke. Of white moonstone, it's the finest. I've not offered anything better. And I'm very disappointed that it's at six ninety five. Because at six ninety five, I would look at that and think there must be a reason it's six ninety five. There must be something wrong with it. No, we just want you to try it. Six pounds and ninety five pence. Last chance is, which is it? Rubies. You can just put a ruby on. Yeah, you can, apparently you can. <gasps> Price drop on a ruby, what do you think? Oh yeah, burgundy's rich, juicy. Have a looky here, see what you think. Oh, hello. Oh, I fancy these. What do you think? Seven by six millimeter for you. To fourteen by ten millimeter on the twenty uh, on a twenty centimeter strand. 
Oh, they're big drill holes on rubies, aren't they? 140 carats of ruby. Come on now, that's not real. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight. Roughly 18 on a strand with a five. But what have you got with five pounds savings today? You're just giving fivers away everywhere. Should be 14.95. No, whoa, 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 whoa. On any, maybe a gemstone we don't know, but we know rubi rubies. Rubies? Rubies. I love that. It's too late. I've done it. Yes, you have. It's been done. It is far too late. In Wiltshire, in Cardiff, well done to you. Available Morgan. Check it out. Check, check, check it out. How many have we got, please? How many have we got? 43. Is that it? Ah! I've got Silk Selkirkshire. Oh wow! I've not been to Selkirk for a long time. Lovely to have you out there showing an interest. Avon's with us on the phone lines. It's a free phone number. Give us a call. You, we are giving away rubies. 18 rubies. That's not even a pound a ruby. That's a pound for 10 rubies and eight for free. A free ruby? What? When do you get free ruby? Well, it's not actually free, but if you count it out. That's a pound for 10, and then there's another eight remaining on the strand that are not counted for. I think I should just take eight off, actually, of each of persons, yeah? And then you can get 10, one for a pound. That's brilliant, one for a pound, no? You want all 18. Now, it is an approximate on the, the quantity number that I'm get, giving you 18, because you might get quite a few of the 14 by 10 mil, so it might give you less space on the strand. So you're gonna get 140 carats, guaranteed, and the sizes will graduate from 7 by 6 up to 14 by 10 mil. Alrighty, so you get all of that, check it out when you can for 9.95. What's that all about? Um, Fiona, you've not had much time, really, <laughs> have you? In between sinking in your two chairs. <laughs> no, not really. Um, I'm up. Have you, you, but you have managed to, to finish a piece. I have. It's not my best Ooh. piece of work, but it's a, it's I like I like the colours and I did have fun doing it. Did you? Yeah. You've but, gone um, for the copper colour wire. Is it the copper colour wire? Co copper it wire, is. yeah. My eyes are deceiving me. <gasps> oh, they're pretty. So you've used the fire opal from earlier, the graduated fasted green onyx drops yeah. that start at 10 mil and go up to 13 mil. I think you've got that 10 mil in there started, haven't you? Yes. Oh, wow. Sorry. And then you've wrapped your wire and you've, you've, got, you've twisted your wire as well, haven't you? No, I've used the twisted wire out of the drawer. Oh, did you? Yeah, so it's our twisted wire. Oh, brilliant. It's already done yeah. for you, even better. Um, for 85 carats of genuine fasted drops. Now, you do get an entire strand. I would show you, but as I'm sure you can imagine, it's already been cut up um, to put into that. And that was only 9.95 for that strand, and they graduate up to 13 millimetre. They're gorgeous. There it is spinning around. Fiona, I have had an absolute ball with you. Thank you so Thank much. You when are you next back with us? Um, 17th. For your Halloween for show. The ha for the Halloween show, yeah. Yay! Everybody's Lots in my ears just going, woo! Um, <laughs> I will be back with you for, oh, tomorrow night from 5 to 9 for the late show, but right now he's off in. Just I came into the studio and they all went, woo! <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah, that's what they were all reacting to. Well, it was, a bunch, <laughs> it was a bunch of boys, which is quite concerning. <laughs> that's just the kind of effect I have on people. <laughs> um, Ed, what have you got coming up tonight? So many treats. So but many. Just don't change the channel. Don't change the channel. Well, I'll you won't change you know the channel anyway. 5 p.m. 5 p.m. In 10 seconds, but for myself, you and all the team, we will see you. Stick with Ed, because it sounds like it's going to be a bit of a party. Oh, yeah. <laughs>Jewelrymaker offers an extensive range of creative workshops for all levels from beginners right through to advanced. Each workshop is run by our approachable tutors who are all friendly, knowledgeable and are specialists in their field of expertise. Our popular courses are tailor-made to suit your needs and to help you get started with a new hobby or to advance your skills onto the next level. We keep the class sizes small to ensure you get plenty of one-to-one -one attention, so book early to avoid disappointment. For more information, contact our course centre or visit our website. 
here at the Genuine Gemstone Company, we are happy to announce that our studio store is now open. If you attend any of our courses, you can now browse through special items, get exclusive discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Become an exclusive customer.